What's up, hey everybody, welcome to Wednesday night on Mates of Fate. Thanks for being here. This is gonna be awesome. Welcome to our one shot that turned into a two shot. Maybe it'll be a three shot if we fuck it up enough for Marcel tonight. We're gonna see. It's gonna be a good time. Six few quick announcements. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm here for it. Um, few quick announcements. Can I tell you guys how excited I am to run our special, like, Mates of Fate holiday extravaganza? It is the most fun game I run all year, and that is saying something because I just finished Lost Mine of Fandelver with, like, the most amazing players of all time. No offense, original Mates of Fate. Um, come by Friday, December 16th. I am going to be running something that will be so sincerely heartwarming and stupid and special. You got to stop by. It's 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 the funnest thing we do all year. Um, speaking of Lost Mine of Fandelver, we just finished it, and I've been so sad about it ever since. It's all on YouTube if you want to catch it. It was very, very special. The players were amazing. It was bonkers, completely off the rail. It was very, very little like the pre-written module by the time we were done because our charity like wild magic sir just broke it but it worked out in the end uh we almost had tpk never homebrew your big bad almost don't count, almost don't count. i um message somebody, some, somebody should have should have warned josh somebody i messaged everyone that you're looking at right now except marcel who played it and i was like is this an okay monster and Mike's like, what's the creature rating? I'm like, what's the creature rating? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so that was a thing. Anyway, catch the VOD on YouTube. Uh, other than that, we're running, this is a charity two shot, right? We're, who are we playing for tonight, Marcel? Where's that QR code gonna go if they wanna make a donation? Uh, that is going to Extra Life. Uh, mm. Tome, we work with them anytime uh, we win, they win. Uh, so that's gonna be something that, uh, you can just look forward to we're gonna be together like peanut butter and jelly and is anyone eating a popsicle tonight no no uh never again. No, there, there, there are no desserts, desserts allowed on yeah. streams that i do anyone i got so... i got uh i got you know specifically told not to uh by several uh, people <laughs> most of whom um, <laughs> I mean, if you want to catch the VOD of Spider Haunt Woods Part 1, I think in the first 10 minutes you can watch Matt Deep Throat a Popsicle for charity. I was like, if we raise five, and he, I didn't even ask. He was like, okay. It was great. Um, I was waiting on the message for them just be like, just keep the money. <laughs> we don't want your money. Just, we don't want to be affiliated with this channel anymore. No, thank you. <laughs> Helps, no I just kept getting told, like, the internet is forever, Matt. The internet is forever, Matt. Just remember that. Forever. In 25 <laughs> years, when you're doing stupider shit than you are now, you'll look back on this and go, wow. Told wow. This is where it's, it all started. You, the internet is forever. That just means you have reached immortality, Matt. Okay. Yeah, glory and lasts forever too, too, man. It's, it's true. I, I I still have a live journal out there somewhere. <laughs> yes, you do. You're gonna look back and be like, oh wow, I was, I was so supple. I was I was so young and tender looking. I should have I should I could have had an OnlyFans. What a wasted opportunity. <laughs> supple. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, did I miss any announcements? I was not reading them this time. I was making them up as we go along. Is that it? I feel like that's, that's, it. that's it. Oh, that's yeah. It. Come back tomorrow at 8.30 Eastern. No, 9. What time do we play songs tonight? Is it 9? 8.30 ish ish ish. Yeah. Anyway, come back around the same time tomorrow yeah. for an all new songs of creation. It's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Featuring. Is this right? Nope. Yep. Anyway, like half of, half of us, that map, that map DMs it. This Matt is just joining. He's incredible. This guy's there too. <laughs> I love you, Mike. And I'm there. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's Brady bunch it real quick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, over there. Hey, I'm okay. I'm okay, let's play, <laughs> let's play D and D. Let's do it. Um, real quick, Ashley. Before you do anything, I would hey. I want to note that we're we're using Rule Twenty. We're using Rule Twenty tonight. Is it right? We're using Rule Twenty. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Do you need a link? Is this, is this? Well, I don't need a link. I'm on it. I just wanted to know these. This is this screen, which is the map. Um, do you are you streaming the map? You're, you are streaming the map. Yeah, it looks really good, right? Look how good I'm oh. doing. 
So here's oh okay. I'm gonna teach you a trick on roll twenty. Right? Please do teach me so, everything. I don't know how well, to use this. That takes time. But here's the thing. You see those giant obnoxious boxes? I do. Names attached to them? I do. And they they're obnoxious, and you don't want to see them. You just want to see the names, right? Or Correct. You can just move them out of the way. Sure, Please. you can move them. You can move them. Or or right? you go to the little gear in the top right hand corner of the screen. The That's thing about the gear wars. It wasn't about the gears. All right, what am I looking at here? So, in the uh, where where it says audio and video, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. there's another tab that says video display. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The next thing that says player video avatar size, change that shit to names only. <gasps> nice. oh. Thank you. Space I've been get. trying to figure that out for sessions. I was just going to let you keep going. So <laughs> much life on real why estate. Would that, why would that be the default setting? What That's, the hell? I, I, have, I have said that to my friends at Roll20 for years now because they seem to like these ridiculously abstract shapes <laughs> um, and what like happens just plastered on your screen. But hey, what do you even do? It's their company, not mine. Like a Thank nautical you. flag, man. Thank you, man. Really you are welcome. All right. <clears throat> Let's play D&D. Okay. Let's go. So previously, our adventures had been called to the town of New Shadowdale, where a robbery had occurred. These adventurers are hired to retrieve a special artifact for a noble couple paying them a uh, handsy handsome sum each uh they have made their track through these spider infested woods i feel is a fair uh way of putting it mm -hmm. on their way through spider webs through jungle had some encounters along the way with various wildlife inside but they have found what looks like the encampment where our villains are camped out they sent in one of their stealthy members who was able to oh, yeah. successfully sneak through the camp. Unseen, undetected, get a good idea of their numbers and saw an opportunity to try and swipe the item that they had been sent for, a snow globe. To swipe it off this uh, table, uh, not really noticing or thinking much of this arcane effect that was around it and there was a violent reaction <clears throat> a loud a large <laughs> loud a loud <laughs> I like loud. That's, a, that's a new word oh, no. yeah, Love no, it. it's a new word uh, uh, that's where i'm going with loud a loud explosion occurred uh you could hear it from the outside uh but it did not break our explorers invisibility as we resume now with people who were kneeling in front of this almost shrine, standing up, drawing weapons, looking around, confused but concerned. And the people from the outside, you know that there is a sense of alarm in the camp as you see these weak, sickly looking orcs readying themselves for battle. They are walking sticks sharpened at the tip as if spears now and they are looking around as if there is an intruder as we begin the session right now. I will have us all roll initiative. Please. Yeah! Mm-hmm. Ooh, not 20 or 21. Damn, dude. Starting up strong. Start yeah, right, this I guess thing I about Heron Gun. Yeah. Heron Gun are gonna fuck up uh, everybody else's initiative just because I got a 26. Okay, so- Are you alert or just a bunny? No, I'm just a bunny. Good for you. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And that 19. Is carrots, correct? Mm -hmm. That's carrots. That's correct. Okay. 19 for, for um, Kai. Kai. Well, I got 19 as well. So who has the higher decks out of Kai and Flo? Uh, 18 for my base. Uh, 14. Huh? So. Oh, dear. Then Kai. <laughs> Larp. Hi. Um, nine. I've got a nine. Why you say it like that? <laughs> it's a whole nine. <laughs> I just saw Pete say every time Ash can't remember what day it is, we take a shot. First of all, don't insult me with the truth. <laughs> That's so rude. <laughs> okay. So as this all is happening, 
carrots, you kind of have the initial reaction. Mm. What are you doing now as you hear this la large, large explosion? I mean, either pronunciation is is perfectly fine. The, uh, the, 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 who was the person in the party who went over to this, uh... That was, that was, that was me. Okay, cool. Um, shit. I see a giant puff of uh, some kind of energy, uh, essentially, correct? Or gas? What is it? Uh, you heard a large boom. A large boom, but there's no, like, exploration <laughs> of anything, anything like that. Like yeah, there's that. nothing like that. Just a big explosion of sound, essentially, correct? Yes, and you would have heard the direction that it came from, from the building. You would have been able to gather. Super, super. Um, uh, yeah, so at this point in time... Um, uh, you just watch Carrots' eyes it's like open like immensely wide and he's like <laughs> and then he just books it he just runs as fast as his little bunny feet will carry him and then hops over the bridge uh, which I believe is a reaction uh, yeah because he has something called bunny hop cool <laughs> adorable uh, yep mm -hmm. uh, let me double check on that uh, uh, yeah, rabbit hop, not bunny hop. Sorry, rabbit hop. Uh, I guess bunny hop was 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 too mundane. Uh, rabbit hop uh, as a bonus action, not reaction. You can jump 15 feet without provoking opportunity tax. So he's just gonna rabbit hop 15 feet and then run his full walking speed and his regular speed as an action. So action, bonus action, run. So 30 plus 60 plus 15. So 30 plus 30 plus 15. So 75 feet. Okay, uh, this map here, the measure tool is accurate, so that makes All this right. easier. So you can Fantastic. measure and click how you see fit. So 15 feet, bing, bang, bang, hops over the bridge, ba bam, and then. Where's 75 feet? Let me measure. I'm gonna do a measurement. I like measuring. Measuring is for cool people. <laughs> 75 feet. Oh, and yeah! Look at that! <laughs> Holy crap. All right, right over there, right next to this log, right there, right next to what seems to be a sickly looking orc. Correct. Crap. Uh, <laughs> That's yep, fine. As you kind of get there, stop and look over, and you see one kind of. <clears throat> you see it kind of notice you, like in between the bushes and the log that's right there. Um, Doesn't seem to react quite just yet. Um, <laughs> Next is going to be. Uh, these two back here are going to start getting into position. Um, next up is going to be P.I. Pop. I'll let you go while I move these things in the background. Keep things fluid. P.I. Papa sees uh, carrots run off. <laughs> Pops out his uh, his uh, his gun and is going to chase after in the same direction. He has a movement of 25 feet. So he's just gonna dash. He's gonna go 50 feet to that square there. You can dash if you want to. You can leave your gears behind. Maybe this is it. Is it this one? And if you can't dash, no friend dash, no friends yep. Damn. This one right. Uh, this one right there. All right. And that is about, I think that's all I can do. That was my action. Uh, so. uh, unless you have bonus action that you'd like to utilize, yeah. I, I do have one I want to utilize, but I can't do it yet. Okay. So that's it for me. Yeah, Papa is just chasing. All right. As you run up, you see the two that were going before kind of come around the corner, kind of looking. So you see them off in the distance. Um, mm -hmm. Now, inside a uh, flarp, what you see uh, is the main one inside. He gets up using essentially half his movement and he's going to start to circle around this altar that's here and uh, make me another stealth check right now. Uh, with advantage because I'm invisible, right? Yep. Good. 23. As he walks around, you're able to step out the way as he passes right by. As he seems more concerned about the altar itself. And he's looking, seeing the snow globe still there. He gets about here before he's out of movement, looking around the room. 
bringing us to some more that are going outside and consequential right now. Uh, your turn. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Lorp is going to very cautiously disengage from where he is. Okay. Right. And... You're invisible right now, right? I am. Do I, do I have to disengage if I'm... Like, do I have to dis... Because, you know, as far as opportunity attacks with well, invisible, if they can't see you, then you're not detected. I don't know how that works. Uh, part of, you, you part of you wants to say try it in character. But yeah, you, no, out of character. You cannot take an opportunity <laughs> attack on creatures that you can't see. That's yeah. Thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they can roll perception versus your stealth. True. Fair enough. Well, you know, no, after, like... This guy like just very carefully, like almost like grazed Flarp's snout. He would just definitely <laughs> back away. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll just I would disengage another way. Sorry. Um, yeah, backing you up. Back. Uh, you don't notice any reaction from him in particular, yeah. as he still seems to scan the environment right now. Okay. He still seems actively searching. And I am just gonna keep on backing up. Uh, looks like there is there a window right behind me? Correct. Like this up? window here, correct. That is essentially an exit. How broken down this built building is. This structure. Is there a roof on that building, or is it just like walls? Uh, there is a roof uh, over this farther half of it. Okay. Uh, the closer half, without the walls, the roof has collapsed. So it's a half covered half. Nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah. The part so, closer to you is the part that is not covered. And I will back out of there. So that's 5, 10, 15, and 1, 2, 2. This track is really good. I like just the like, bells. Yeah, the entire time, like, not even like turning, just like backing up. <laughs> the and you back out anything else from you as you slowly just back out the room and you see more people as this is all fluid you see people kind of walking around the corner heading into the building where you just climbed out of awkward no. okay uh bringing us to kai <clears throat> kai is very very slow um and very very well intentioned so they are going to just like see that everyone is dashing off away, kind of turns to Rattan. Should we? Okay. And just like, kind of at a meandering pace, we'll and dash, but so slowly. I'm so sorry slowly. to interrupt. P.I. Hmm. Papa, you crossed the bridge, I'm seeing the token. Ah, um, ah, ah, ah. Um, oh no. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, the bridge ah. is visibly uh, not in good shape, so I would need a deck save from you as you passed over that. That's why I jumped over that fucking thing. A deck save? Correct. As you start to go across it, um, and it's starting to give way underneath you. Okay. This might affect how Kai is able to approach the situation. <laughs> really blew my wad on my first roll. Uh, so Ew. three. You gotta say it like that? Huh? <laughs> You said a three? You just blew yourself. <laughs> I just, oh, shit. Uh, seven. Seven total. Seven? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, you unfortunately would not have made it that far. Uh, <laughs> you would have made it about back here, and you would be in the water as the bridge would have collapsed underneath you. Okay. So there is a portion of God. the bridge that is gone and washing downstream towards the right, towards the other bridge. Uh, and by water, you mean growing. acid, right? You mean like a <laughs> lava? stream of acid. Yeah. Okay. Burning lava acid. Yeah, um, so they cast uh, Hallucinatory Terrain on this uh, mountain, oh, this volcano. No! <laughs> you're dead. Thanks for playing. No, um, so <laughs> you're currently in the water right now. Um, so that is where you would have had to end your turn unless you had a bonus action that could have got you out of that. Uh, no, I'm trying to hold my musket above the water so it doesn't get ruined. <laughs> nope, that's just the end my turn. Just How deep is the water? Training. Do I have any movement left? So you're, st you're just using your feet? <laughs> or not really. Um, from there to where you are, I'll say that uh, if you you still have not enough to get out the water, but enough to uh -huh. reposition yourself a little bit. Okay. Still I'm just trying to hold the muscle out the water, just like 
Doggy paddling myself above. Yeah. You can synchronize swimmer. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Kai, you would have seen that this bridge looks in worse repair after your teammate has fallen through it. Now, how would you like to take your turn? Um, Kai will look at their, uh, you know, their partner and employer. Sir, are you all right? My head keeps like bobbing below the water. I can't quite get out the words. I'm just spitting water as I... Yeah, being a stout folk. Go, go ahead, I'll be fine. Very well. Thank, thank you. Good luck. He is in danger. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he looks fine to me. <laughs> um, Kai will get about here. That's as far as they can go before shit starts getting weird. And they will kind of like you'll you'll see their um, mechanical hands start to glow gold for a moment, and they will cast bless on P.I. Papa and themselves and Rattan, because we're still left behind, I suppose, and we're in range. So that's half half my... Oh, wait, okay. That's my whole turn, because that's a spell. Okay. Um, That's as far as I can go, but just so I can play my next turn, these spider webs next to me, do those look difficult to navigate through, or I can go through them? You'd be able to go through them. Uh, it would... It does look like, quote-unquote, difficult terrain. And is there Not any bridge left or no? Uh, in front of you, yes, the bridge is still there. It looks like uh, it's in worse shape than it was originally, but it's still there. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, Mike and Alicia, so your next attack roller saving throw is with advantage. No, it's not with advantage. Sorry, it's you can add a d4. Yep. Okay. Attacks and saving throws for the mm -hmm. next minute. Uh, and if that ends your turn, now we have... Let's go this inside here these two are going to come here and kind of be like what the shit was that <laughs> um followed by these guys who are gonna start to come around the side okay um and then that's going to bring us to Rit oh wait these guys can act nope they wouldn't have seen <laughs> it yet wow, wow. uh next we have rattan if i'm saying your character's name correct you are okay um, so rattan's going to so how big is your character ash all right uh, great question. They are, um, six feet even. Okay, so I probably couldn't pick you up and carry you on my back then. I mean, I'm light. I'm 180. Mm -hmm. I'm very small for a Warforged. Very slender. So, Britain's gonna say, finally, this hike is getting interesting. And she's going <laughs> to, um, try to kind of lug Kai with her, um, and go across the water towards P.I. Papa. The okay. Answer. Can help. So, uh, let me go ahead and move your token so I know which way you're going. So I can better narrate what happens. Okay, and kind of bringing her with you. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, and what is your movement speed? 40 feet. Yep, so you get right there, kind of <laughs> dragging Kai with you. Kai, you kind of get yeah, yoked and carried with you. We. Like, uh, yep, <laughs> <laughs> just like that. As uh, Pia Papa next to you, you have <clears throat> two of your allies. And I think I have enough. You need some help? <clears throat> no, I'm got it. I'm good. Yes, he okay. does. Please save him. Thank you. Uh so she's going to try to grab him by the scruff of his shirt and pull him behind her um, to get to the other side, if that's possible. Okay, uh, with 40 feet of movement, what are you going to use your action to dash? I think that was 25 feet, right? Or am I uh, wrong? Once you picked up Kai, it is double movement to essentially drag someone with you. Okay, I'll use my double movement then. Okay, so, and yep, okay. so then you got uh, another 20 feet, or if you're carrying two people, I'll say 10 feet, halving it again. Okay. 
so you'd be able to get them on the shore and flop them both down. <laughs> Like you were doing a great job on your own, but thought it helped. Admirable Thank job, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> and does that end your turn? It does. It does. Okay, bringing us to the two that have seen one of your allies. They are going to 5, 10, 15, 20. And the other one, 5 yeah. feet up. Because they are both going now. Uh, actually, let me do this. Let me do this one at a time. Uh, so the first one's going to walk up, and <clears throat> this orc with its sickly figure reaches out towards you with these hands that you can tell they are painted white or coated in something white. And this is going to be a 10 to hit as you see some kind of dark energy on his hand as it misses you. Ah. As this other one approaches and is going to try to do the same thing, but is trying to surround you. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> this is going to be a 24 to hit. Oh, let me get my dice out. Oh, shit. Here it goes. 24. Wow. I mean, are we are we sure a 24 hits? Yeah. I, sure? I, I, I'd like to, I'd like to hope. Otherwise, I don't know what I gave you guys for equipment. If, if not, <laughs> that, rat, that rabbit is strong. It's fine. It's fine. Jack, Jack yeah, rabbit. If not, <laughs> Jack <jacked> rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, as it reaches out, you take 13 points of necrotic damage as it grabs onto you and fur seems to fall out and just dead skin emerges from the spot of contact. Oh, oh dear. That ends their turn, bringing you're us making, to... You're making, me, you're making me resort to something. Marcel, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know right now. Hold on, be right back. <laughs> um, Gonna oh, go get my comfort it, popsicle. Yeah, it's, it's Carrot's turn, though, so... <laughs> uh, Carrot's spirit has left his body. Oh. He just fucking left. Yep, Matt, Matt, Matt hasn't had a drink in uh, 27 years, and I think he's going to get one now. Way to go, Marcel. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to have, I'm just going to go ahead and start moving the next guy so we can keep things fluid. They're going to rush in with magic ready, but not see anything going on inside. Hands glowing, ready to discharge magic, but not seeing anything where they heard the noise. And they're going to ready in action uh is he back yep it is your turn carrots he doesn't have his headphones in yet so oh. i think he's holding his action for somebody oh. else there you go it is now your turn carrots um unless you would like to hold an oh, action no. i'm good i'm here we go um carrots does not like getting speared in, in, by anybody, uh, let alone orcs. So you just see uh, Carrots' face, like, like on the ground, like he sort of like he just slowly comes up towards these guys, and in his hand is a small leather um, rectangle, mm. and he flips his furry thumb and the rectangle's top comes off, and you see that inside is a deck of cards. Here we go. <laughs> what did you and let this man have? He, <laughs> trusting in the heart of the cards. <gasps> Here we go. He will, he will draw so a card, a single card. And it is a five of diamonds. That's a bit anticlimactic, Ooh. if I'm being honest, Matt. That's fine. <laughs> I'm, well, with the five of diamonds, let's see what happens here. Uh, okay. Uh, and then he throws that five of diamonds card on the ground. Okay. And... Oh, wait. Hold on. Ace, king... Oh, wait, no. It goes from... Shit. It goes from ace... It goes from, no, ace to... You pissed me off, and now I'm gonna litter. 
exactly. God damn it. Uh, I thought this was a 52 card deck. I guess it wasn't. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to try another card that actually is in this fucking thing. Here we go. Uh, Ace, here we go. Ace of Clubs. That's got to be good, right? Ace of Clubs. Uh, Oh, shit. Okay, so he throws the thing. I don't like your reaction. He throws the card on the ground, and the card... Uh, sort of evaporates in a puff of uh, reddish mist um, and then just as if summoned by the very heavens themselves this enormous 15 foot iron golem stands there oh oh goodness go ahead and just give us that token you were ready for it what's up let's go I I warned you. Or you can just draw it. I don't give a shit. I'm picturing the Iron Giant right now. I'm picturing Iron Giant too. Yeah, it's Iron Giant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is the Iron Giant. And he just stands there. So this is. Kyle looks threatened. Oh, God. (laughs) Yes. Superman. So this is is actually a wondrous item. It's called the Deck of Illusions. There we go. Uh, That's exactly it. That's just exactly right. So, an illusion of one or more creatures forms over the thrown card and remains until the spell. An illusory creature appears real of the appropriate size and behaves as if it were a real creature, except that it can do no harm. While you are within 120 feet of the illusory creature and can see it, you can use an action to move it magically anywhere within 30 feet of its card. Any physical interaction with the illusory creature reveals it to be an illusion because objects have to pass through it. Someone who uses an action to visually inspect the creature identifies it as illusory with a DC 15 intelligence check. Cool. So you should have control of that token. Hell yes. Thank you. I am so happy. Um, I can close down the stat block because that's irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. Irrelevant. But irrelevant. It's not like an iron golem, actually. I, no, I got scared when I saw the stat block, but oh yeah, Mm-mm. it goes your whole adventure. Uh, <laughs> Why I was like, you... how is this a thing? Yeah. Um. So yeah, the iron oh, golem man. just appears there and just like, <laughs> just like looks down at these two orcs, and they and... immediately just start looking up at this monstrosity. Hey, be my guest. Um, as a, uh, a bonus action, am I within 30 feet of you? Yes, I am. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, Kai, I point at you, and um, you see like a magical sort of glow appear from my paw, and my eyes turn into like big like anime eyes, and I say, uh, in a voice that only you can hear, he's your friend. I believe in you. (laughs) And you have Bardic Inspiration, but you have a special kind of Bardic Inspiration because my Bardic Inspirations give you what are called Motes of Potential. Uh, Motes of Potential are these tiny little magical orbs that orbit around you within five feet. They can do one of three things. They can either give you uh, an ability check, obviously, to um, do the normal things that that Bardic Inspirations can do. They can also give you, um, uh, for ability check, uh, Bardic Inspirations, you can roll it twice and choose which one that you want. Oh, like with advantage. Exactly. Second thing is that you can use for an ability check with you if you use your, uh, um, uh, sorry, with with, with, with an attack roll, if you use your uh, mode of inspiration, um, the target of your attack roll and every creature of your choice that you can see within 15 feet of the target that you uh, that you attack must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take thunder damage equal to the number rolled on my bardic inspiration die. If you use the mode of potential for a saving throw, you gain temporary hit points equal to the number rolled on my bardic inspiration die plus four. Wow! <laughs> Every time I play with you, I'm like, you can do that in TNT. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> so, Kai, choose your your uh, use of the Bardic Inspiration carefully, and that is the end of my turn. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I mean, thank you. <laughs> so, ending your turn, they went while he was away. Pi Papa, you are up. all right. Pi Papa um, sees carrots getting flanked by these two orcs, right? 
Yes. Um, are there bushes around me in which I can try to obscure myself? Uh, so right now, you would be able to see carrots. I'm going to say you can see the two orcs, but these bushes right here are pretty high. I'm going to say that you can tell that there is an orc on the far side. But these bushes here, especially for someone of your stout nature, uh, look more than capable of hiding you. Um, yeah, I turn to um, to Kai and uh, Alicia. What's your character's name again? Rattan. Rattan. That's right, Rattan. And uh, we all guard my back, all right? And I charge forward um, about 15 feet and dive into the bushes uh, okay. with my with my musket out. And I'm going to take a calculated. Uh, just flavor a calculated shot kind of trying to snipe at the orc closest to me um okay. i do have i have extra attack but that doesn't work with uh with uh like ammunition weapons so it's still just one attack uh okay. so i'm gonna take my shot you didn't take the gunner feet no okay didn't. just check i don't think i did what did i extras what feat did I take? <laughs> no, I took the Sverneblin magic feat. Gotcha. Um, all right, so that would be 15. The hit is going to hit, I believe. Yeah, okay. yeah, def yeah, it hits. Um, as a bonus action, I would like to cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. Um, which allows me, I choose a creature I can see within range and mystically mark it as my quarry. Uh, so until it ends, I deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target whenever I hit it with a weapon. And I have advantage on per, uh, perception survival checks to find it. Uh, and I can move it. We'll get to that. All right, so it's an extra 1d6. So I will, so it hits. Yep. So that would be, ooh, nice. Uh, 11 damage plus... Uh, so 13. 13 damage total, piercing against that All one right. orc. You see that you take a significant chunk off of it. It doesn't look like it'd be able to stand up to many more of hits like that as it turns around and is trying to figure out uh, where you are, essentially, um, and you You're... didn't make this. Yeah. I was going to say, you want to make a stealth check? Um... Mechanically, I don't think you really can unless you can bonus action it. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, no, I can. Okay. So they kind of get an idea of you. Like, uh, I'll say they see the gun sticking out the bushes, but you kind of break line of sight, so they get an idea. <laughs> I picture it's comically like just a big musket sticking out of the bushes. Like, Fun's two, funny. Coming off yeah. Of it. yeah. <laughs> it's more fun. <laughs> <The two. laughs> All right, that's that's my turn. All right, bringing us to this guy inside who is going to hear commotion outside he's going to stop here uh, and he looks as if he is ready for a fight and looks like he's getting ready to advance on the small bunny um, before he advances on the big no creature does he look uh, like significantly tougher and or more uh uh you know boss like shall we say than the other sickly orcs everyone here has white painted on their hands and looks sickly this one here looks physically strong and has white kind of war markings over his whole body cool, he definitely cool. does look a step above the others physically how he's marked everything about him he's hot That's good. <laughs> and he runs out uh he's still um progressing and advancing but he seems to be uh very defensive in his stance as he is charging forward and does he, does he notice the iron golem that's you know in, he does in the middle of his fucking camp <laughs> and Orcs can bonus action towards something that they can see or hear, so he can 5, 10, 15, and go to engage and oh, not shit. be able to. <laughs> he just ran right through it. <laughs> yep, kind of, um, and stumbled through, and I'm going to say ends up right next to P.I. Papa. Great teamwork. Damn. Awkward. <laughs> um, oh, great. But that is going to be his turn. <laughs> okay, great. Um as he runs through this thing and <clears throat> next up is 
where are they? I got too many people trying to fight you guys all at once. I think it was these guys next. They are going to see fighting happening or people advancing in 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, 30. And they are going to look out at everyone here. And I need... P.I. Papa, <laughs> Rattan, and Kai to make me, uh, what kind of save is this? I think it's a charisma saving throw. Oh, we're so oh. I want to say. So Matt, can I do that with advantage with one of my moats? Is that a thing I can do? No, no, with the, with, so with the, with your bardic inspiration, you're rolling it, um, with your bardic inspiration die, but if you roll it, you get, um, you get, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh. Uh, you get a, a temporary hit points equal to the number rolled on the bar. Cool, 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 cool. And are you, are we D8s at that level? D6, what's your, what's your inspiration uh, die? I'm, I am a D8 because I'm a little Fantastic. Hard. So cool. That's an eight. Oh, hell yeah. Eight fails. Yeah. 19 for Kai. 19 <laughs> passes. Uh, Rattan, what did you get? 15. 15 passes as well. Um, so the only one that fails was P.I. Papa. P.I. Papa, your blesses ne are almost negated. You have Bane cast on you. Um, so that's going to be subtracting a D4 from your attack rolls and saving throws. So, oh, gosh. All right. Yep. So D4 to add it, D4 to take it away. <laughs> um, this next one is going to look out at the group, and he is going to shoot some magic bullshit at y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of bullshit. Um, Rattan, I need you to make me a save. It is going to be a Constitution saving throw. That's what you. That's well, what you do, baby. Funny. Hell yeah, you did. <laughs> This one orc points at you in a very rude fashion as nothing happens to you. <laughs> what, what are you, why are you staring at me? Uh, it, uh, it was supposed to, never mind. <laughs> um, uh, bringing us to, I believe that is Flarp now. Flarp is just in the back of the ruins and just gonna. <laughs> Oh, I'm having a bad day. <laughs> and just gotta, just gotta walk on. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Peeking around the corner. Ever you see so everyone used. kind of either running in the house or are your complete opposite direction. No one paying attention to you right now. Slarp has to stop himself from clapping. He's still. <laughs> <laughs> you have the snow globe, right? Yes, thank you. Yeah. You were unable to get it off that platform. He still Wait, looked at the platform afterwards, and it is still there. You went, oh, it wouldn't... was like an invisible force field, and it blew you back. So it's uh. still in that room. Oh. Uh, they still I have it. I thought I had thinks he has it. He looks down at his hands, and his hands are down. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> So it is right. still in that room on some platform that seems to be protected by some the same arcane field that threw you backwards. Uh, and everyone alerted by that seems to be on alert and no one found you yet as you are still invisible, maintaining concentration. And you would have seen it there. So you know you can either go back and investigate or keep doing whatever you're doing. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna hold my action in case anything comes near me. Like, or, like comes near me to attack me. Like discovers um, me. Right? Are you holding a simple melee or a spell or anything in particular? Um, I'll hold a spell in case anything tries to touch me. Okay, and you'd be able to tell from your passive that it looks like everything is running almost the opposite direction of you. You're still invisible, and they have combatants to fight, so. You, you see most people's backs <laughs> on the enemy side right now. Mm -hmm. okay. And that ends your turn? 
Bringing us to Kai. Oh, you're going to hate this, Marcel, and I'm real sorry about it. Um, Kai is going to look at uh, their partners in danger, and their eyes flash red, and they'll kind of like streak red light across them and say, no, thank you, and cast slow on the five orcs closest to us. Can they all make wisdom saves for me, please? They're DC 15. Okay. Slow. Uh, you can choose the targets in that area. Fail. One nat 20. Fail. Fail. What about big boy, though? He failed. Yeah. Uh, failed. Uh, one of these guys passed. Cool. Could you mark so, the ones that failed, just so we're all... Yeah. Yep, I'm looking for that icon right now. So they, their speed is halved. They're taking a minus two to AC and deck saving throws. They can't use reactions, and on their turn, they either get an action or a bonus action, but not both. Action or bonus. And if they have extra attacks, no, they don't. Sorry. Okay. Uh, is there something about casting magic in there as well? <laughs> Regardless of the creature's abilities of magic items, it, if it can take more than one melee or range attack during its turn, no, it doesn't. Oh, if it attempts to cast a spell with a casting time of one action, roll a d20. 11 or higher, the spell takes effect on the next turn. Um, 10 or lower, nothing happens and it's wasted. Gotcha. Okay. All right. <laughs> cool. Yeah, okay. I did not know that. That's really... Yeah, our our clerics on Mates of Fate usually don't use this. I never I never got to see it before. That's fun. When you're trying to cast a spell and then the Alexa voice is like, I didn't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so with that, does that end your turn? Um. Oh, Kai will move. Uh, Kai will move. Uh, right here next to the Iron Giant and P.I. Papa. Okay. Thank you. Hey, That's it. Next up are these 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. He is going to cast a spell at the Iron Golem doing nothing. <laughs> uh, this one here is going to five and fifteen twenty, and he's going to try to attack a rabbit friend for a sixteen to hit. That will hit. That will hit. Ooh, all right. 11 points of necrotic damage as just as the first one it reaches out with its hand and gives you a boop but instead of this being comforting it is just fur falling off necrotic energy taking over dead skin expanding from the point yeah. of contact yeah Karis is not looking good uh as th he does that this one here is going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, because it's forcing its way through this web. How hurt is Carrots looking? Pretty hurt. Pretty bad. Carrots is not the tank of the group. Mm-mm. Uh, Kai, I need you to make hmm? me yep you to make a constitution saving throw me <laughs> yes you. does an does an eight save an eight does not weird you lose use of your sensory perceptors you are blinded right now. <gasps> oh dear Ooh. as Dope that has happened and this is going to cast another spell at the iron golem <laughs> and do nothing and after that it is Rattan's turn yes. 
uh, do I have enough movement to get up to carrots? Uh, 25 feet of movement to get there, even passing through some thick uh, vegetation, so 30 feet at most. I'm gonna move here and I'm um, gonna attack one of those orc guys. All right. Um, and you run up and you see what your stature, with your physique. For a second, you almost felt bad hitting these sickly people until you realized how much damage they had done to your friend. Feel bad at all. Retain super <laughs> excited. She's, she's ready to play. Don't tell me how I feel, Dio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that is a... Ready. Uh, 21 to hit. That hits. And which one are you hitting first? Uh, I'm gonna hit the one that's uh, south of carrots. Gotcha. Okay. And that is uh, 12 damage. 12 damage. This thing spins around like you bring uh, your... What kind of weapon are you using? Uh, so I have a club in one hand and a flail in the other. Okay. So I, use the, I use the flail. You crack this thing and its jaw just kind of leads it in a full circle as it seems like it's it's on its last leg. It doesn't look like it can take another hit like you just dealt out. Hit him again with a two weapon fighting. That's nice. Okay. Pop, pop. Uh, that'll be 16 to hit. Or that sorry, hit. 26, 26 to hit. But that yeah, that hits even more. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 12 damage again. And he goes down. Nice. Falls to the ground. All right. And that's my turn. All Yay. right. Bringing us to... Uh, oh, okay. Well, one of them's dead. That makes it easier for me. Uh, this one here that has slow on it, so it can make an attack roll. It just can't do anything with its bonus action. It is going to... Where is that? Take an attack against you, um, Carrots, and that is going to be... a 17 to hit. That will hit. I thought your bunny jump was a reaction. It not? Uh, so no, it's a it's a bonus action. Oh, fiddle sticks. Yeah. And you take only five necrotic damage. Ooh. Okay. And that ends its turn, bringing us to you right now. No, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, Carrots is beat up. He looks like Bugs Bunny after a really bad cartoon where he's just like all like a bruised eye and like, you know, a missing tooth. And he's just like... There's Arr. punctuation swirling up here. Yeah. 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 It's like... Pulls up... He like pulls up his, his skin like a, like a shirt sleeve. <laughs> this way, sir. And he's Let's like... <laughs> and he just bounds out the way using a bonus action to rabbit hop, which does not draw opportunity attacks. You see them. They yeah. look at Rattan for just a moment. By the time they look back to you, you're already mid-flight away, and they're like, damn. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's 15 feet that I jump. And okay. So I will jump from my position. I will jump right there. So I just go boop. Bonus action, hop. Ah, uh, damn it. Rattan. Ah, oh, Rattan. That's fine. Um, <laughs> Sorry. That's Sorry. okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm chaotic neutral. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that was my bonus action. Um, for my action, Karen looks at this group of, uh, of orcs and yeah. Hmm. Which one should I use? Which one should I use? 
Okay. Um, no, actually, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah. He's gonna take a look at that big, because the, the big orc is is clearly the, um, or the, the, the tough looking orc is clearly a big problem. So you watch Carrots take out that like elusive ukulele that you see him, and he just like strum. He sees like one of the one of the strings is broken on it, and he's like, <laughs> and then he, like he just takes out like uh, like he, he takes one of his teeth, which is broken out of his mouth, plucks it out of his gum, and he strums with his tooth on this ukulele, and the the strings like vibrate with this majestic glow, and he aims it like a rifle at this at this orc, and casts the only spell that he can directly from it, which is a very powerful spell called Otto's Irresistible Dance. <laughs> That's a damn I lose a note here. And Nothing. he says, Dance, bitch. And um, <laughs> what you will have to do is nothing because there's no save for Otto's irresistible dance. Oh, that's right. It, it's irresistible. It's You irresistible. can't resist it. Simply irresistible. Uh, in fact, yeah, he sings that. Like, um, the target begins a comic dance. Shuffling, tapping its feet, and capering for the duration, which is concentration up to one minute. Creatures that can't be charmed, however, are immune to the spell. Is he immune to the spell? No, he is not. Fantastic. He must use all of his movement to dance without leaving its space and has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws and other attack rolls. While the target is affected by the spell, other creatures have advantage to attack rolls against oh, it. Hell yeah. As, as an action, and only as an action, thank you for that slow, um, a dancing creature must make a wisdom saving throw to regain control of it. <gasps> oh, shit. So, alley-oop. Hey, um, pro tip for those of you playing along at home, DMs love it when you emasculate their big bads. It's their favorite. Oh, it's the best. It's yeah. the best. How do you even have this spell? <laughs> Good. Who allowed it Tasha's? Is, it is. It is a. It is a, a spell that is through the Reveler's Concertina, which is my rare magical item. Oh, shouldn't let us have that. Hello, Marcel. Okay. <laughs> so, as an action. Okay, so it's your turn. So I don't even roll yet. That's it. No, you're 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 dancing. You're fucking dancing. Okay. No, I'm saying I don't roll yet. I have to no. roll on my yeah. turn. On your turn, as an gotcha. action, you roll wisdom saving throw to get out of it. If so, you want, uh, River Dance. I mean, yeah, you don't have to if you want. Uh, this guy's gonna start doing the running man in place. All right. <laughs> the best. I'm done. <laughs> in slow motion, because he slowed. Yes, um, <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> oh, the best ever. Just looking really sullen. He's <laughs> mad about it. Just, yeah, just not, mad cabbage patch. Just not enjoying it at all. <laughs> like, why does he? Why does he have a stank face? Oh, man. oh god. Oh. <laughs> So thanks for that bullshit. Um, <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, God. Oh. That is your turn? That is my turn. I'm done. Okay. Do you have more? You sure there's no more? That's it, baby. That's my one big blast. Okay. Um, Fuck me up anymore, please. I'm at like so, three hit points or some shit. So he says, dance, bitch. And very oh. reluctantly, n definitely not wanting to, the boss starts running, man. Um, <laughs> cabbage patching. And yeah. Carlton. It, there, there you go. <laughs> Slow um, Carlton. Just, like, <laughs> just never gonna give you up. <laughs> never gonna just let blow. you go. <laughs> um, That's hey, my new so. favorite combo of spells ever. <laughs> Slow plus irresistible dance. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Never, never gonna give. Never gonna give. Never gonna give. Okay. Um, next. Up is this guy who's going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um. 
<laughs> I forgot, they're all orcs. They can bonus action dash where you five. Mm -hmm. Unless they're slow. Not a lot of them are slowed, only one, two, three, four. Oh, no, he would not run past um, Rattan. He's going to run up to her, and he is going to attack for a 23 to hit. Oof. 23 hits. All right, and you see as he charges up some kind of energy in his hand, and you take 13 necrotic damage as skin seems to just decay off of your arm as he reaches out and just skims you. Um, next up is this one who can 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He's gonna uh, attack this golem running up and then seeing his hand pass through it, uh feel stupid and move over here to, <laughs> on his next turn engage Rattan but he has used his action attacking the golem uh, <laughs> um, after that P.I. Papa you are up you see you have your ally behind you that has ran up he's not looking in good shape at mm -hmm. all and then uh -huh. you have uh, this large orc in front of you with a stank face on that's just <laughs> Dancing in slow motion. Yeah. Uh, he uh, he turns and looks at this. Oh, you're a big fella, aren't you? And I'm going to push myself back five feet so I can get a good shot. So I don't know if that invokes attack of opportunity. Can he do He's got a lot going he's on. Slow. He's, he's slow. He doesn't have a reaction. Yeah. 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 He's nope. Can't. Right. He can't. Nope, he's busy. Yeah, just, so just I, watch you back away. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just he's, trying to get, he's like, never gonna hurt you. Uh, I'm just trying to get like a, a good shot aim at him as I'm just like coming to focus on him is the first time I see that he's like, is he? It's a fella dancing. <laughs> now he's doing like the TikTok like flossing right now. Yes! <laughs> Slow floss. <Yeah. laughs> All right. So I take a shot. Um, and I will do it with, uh, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark because my initial um, target died. Okay. So I'm going to move it to this guy. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll cast it on him. And so that'll be 1d6, but then also minus 1d4, right? Er, yeah, you plus the 1d4 from Bless if that's still up. Uh, I had to drop concentration on that so you don't have it, sorry. Okay, right. so, so she's just have the six, so <laughs> fifteen, and then a D four to minus it. Oh. Is that right? Right. Yeah. So is that fifteen minus three, so twelve. Twelve hit. piercing damage. Oh, I'm sorry. You only oh. do the to hit, not the damage. So the damage stays the same. Oh, that was a thirteen. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I the yeah the the, the attack roll was thirteen. You have okay. advantage. Um. Oh yeah. Let me do it again. Sorry. I, I did a had a brain fart there. And you are attacking the large one, correct? The large one, and it's okay. 16, actually. 16 to hit. Yeah. Uh, yep. Is going to miss him. Oh. Mother! As he's, like, slow motion dancing, the bullet Yeah, just it just gonna... flosses, yeah. and it goes right past his hip where he flosses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that was, that was it. That's all I could do. Okay. Um, and that brings us to, oh, more people. Okay. Oh, the boss gets to go. Okay. Big money, big money, big money, no whammy. Uh, what's the DC? 15. 15. Come on, mods. Come on. What save is it? Oh, sorry. I beg your pardon. Not 15. 17. Wisdom save. <sighs> 17. Beat it, beat it. Meets it, beats it. He is no longer amused with the music he heard in his head. <laughs> his low floss comes to a stop. All right, all right. That's fine. That's fine. It was worth it. Just that one turn. Um. Yeah. Everything was at advantage. Um. And that's at the end of his turn, right? He loses his turn. That's correct. Okay. So that is it. Uh, he stops and looks as if he is no longer amused. Uh, bringing us to. <laughs> got so many toys to play with. Uh, these guys, their movement speed is halved, I heard. If they're slowed. Yes, yes the slow ones are, have half movement, yeah. 
Yeah, they can't even make it to y'all. Okay. <laughs> um. Where the hell is Flarp? Oh, bonus action dash. Uh. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, shit. Okay. If so... they're slowed, they can either take a bonus action or an action. Sounds like they took okay, a bonus. Okay, so yep, they, they get right up to you, and that is all they got. Um, and that, thank you, good catch. Um, and that brings us to, the boss already went, Flarp, you are up with Kai on deck. Where right. the fuck is Flarp? <laughs> Flarp is going to go. <laughs> no uh, one knows. 15, yeah, everyone ran in 20, thinking Flarp was in trouble, 25. and now Flarp is like, <laughs> I love my life. Where the fuck is Flarp's revenge? I love it. Um, I'm going to get to about here, and Dean guys are in trouble, and all right, fine. I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt. Oh, damn. Uh, okay. So Flarp has entered the fray. Yeah. That oh, should be a hundred foot good. line, five feet wide. I'm going to try and hit that far right. Yeah, I'm just going to. Nice. I'm going I'm to light them up as many yeah. as I can possibly. Makes get. sense to me. Yep. So, uh, deck saves, correct? It's like uh, yep, it is a. Failed. 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 I don't even have to know the DC. Yeah. All these guys rolled really bad. All right. Wait, did that's... you go down this way or did you go over this way? I tried to get as many as I possibly could. That would be so that's this. That's the other way, yeah. Yeah, that's these three. But that's not what he said, though. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be. That's not what No talks or boxes. Let me know which ones you're aiming for. I mean, I was thinking the, I was trying to get like the five if I could, but if I can't get all five of them, then it's still, um, yeah. You said five feet wide? It's five feet wide, but on a diagonal, I'm not sure how it would work. Um, so you could get like two that way. And then if you angle it that way, that's two. So there's two that way, right? Uh... Either two or two, or if you go down the left-hand side with those three that are slowed, and since they're slowed, you know what that does to their deck saves, right? Yeah, I think your best bet would be the three here in a clean line, and they're Fine. all slowed. Yeah, I'll light them up. Nice. Right. Nice. Does that does that hit me too? No. It shouldn't. Okay. I think the line went right through and missed it. It could. Mark would accept that. <laughs> do, do you want it to? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little outside. If anything, I might singe your hat. You light my pipe. I'm <laughs> dirty. <laughs> I blew myself again. <laughs> Oh, so the, uh, uh, they make them with disadvantage, two failed, the, um, big one passed. Okay, so wow. he'll take half damage out of 86. Oh, I so thought he said 86 for a eight, second. Eight, eight D6, oh, yeah. go home. Not to be DM's bet, but it's not dex saves with disadvantage, it's just a minus two. But they're slow, right? Oh, yeah, they're slow. Oh, well, that's good to know. Um... I'll keep the rolls right now and just know that for future reference. Okay. Um. Okay, so. And minus two to AC for anybody who's trying to hit him. So the ones who failed take 30 points of. Holy oh, shit! You said right. 30? Fuck. 30. How do you uh, want to do this? <laughs> yeah, All just of them. <laughs> everyone's like, "Where the fuck is Flarp?" And then there's just like this, cow where you just see like the lightning kind of like trickling around this like cobalt shaped like nothingness in the air that suddenly starts to f flicker blue, and then <laughs> too late, a crack of lightning <laughs> goes through, nice carving through. Um, and with that, I'm also going to use my bonus action to summon Senorita Tickles. Uh, as I cast <laughs> Tentacle of the Deep. Oh, where's Nick? <laughs> I, um, I, which I, creates... I, I don't get this reference. Is, there, is, is this someone who I know who I should know? <laughs> I, it's Tentacle of the Deep, so I cast a spectral tentacle from my uh, patron that shows up 60 feet from me and is going to... Just like my husband uh, has an Artema, say yeah. your tickles. In your tickles. Because <laughs> it's a tentacle that just... Got it. Yep. Uh... So it's Senorita Tickles is going to appear. I just need a any token if possible. How do I 
Uh, any tentacle token will do. Any tentacle like token will do. Yeah, should do the trick. Within 60 feet, preferably. Uh, all right, yep. The more phallic, the better. <laughs> Let's draw a dick on the on the on the page, and you're all set. Let's go. Uh, hold on. Where's the measuring thing? How do I measure? It looks like a ruler. Uh, it's right ruler under the magnifying glass, and then just click and drag. Okay, sixty feet. Oh, cool. I can so I can go like I'm gonna pop it right over here, just between. Oh, even oh. better. Wow. <laughs> Look at that, dude. It's I did awesome. not wow. expect him to come through on that. That was awesome. That so, lo- so large. Amazing. So large. Amazing. Oh, it's a bit cold. Uh, so the tentacle is just going to be right there, smack dab in the middle of all those orcs. You have that control of your there. tentacle now. You can move your tentacle as you see fit. I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, I have control yeah. of your it's not, no, it's not, Oh, wait. You got to was in, uh, Yeah, I was in measuring yeah. mode. There we go. It's going to go right there. And with that, it is also going to... It gets to attack. Uh, so I'm going to attack the one that is slow. Okay. All right. Let's see, do, 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 melee spell attack. I think it's just a plus six. That'll be a 19 to hit. That hits. For five points of cold damage. All right. Wow. You see you? ice kind of build up on the flesh. You're going to have to rename this adventure the, uh, f- the Flarp the Hero. So you can say. <laughs> <laughs> or so. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. That was definitely a nice opening as Kai and Papa are right in front of you. You see two electrified bodies kind of like as husks hit the ground. Um, Is that going to end your turn, Flarp? That's, yep, that's all I can possibly do. All right. Oh, oh, yeah. You are up now. Okay. Um, Kai just kind of fumbles around and puts their hands like directly out in front of them. Like, is that you, sir? Like looking for <laughs> looking for carrots? And then just yep. <clears throat> whirls around, smashes into your ears. <laughs> yes, carrots like feels like like on his face. Like he just bruised and just like uh, oh, I am. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, um, and P.I. Papa, you are no longer baned. I believe the one that cast that on you is now dead from that lightning bolt. Excellent. <clears throat> um, once, once Kai finds Carrot's ears, <laughs> like, they'll say, like, um, please relax and allow me to care for your wounds, and they will cast Cure Wounds on uh, second level. Carrot's ears, like, shiver with delight. <laughs> 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 You'll, you'll regain 15 HP. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I, I mm-hmm. imagine it's like when you find the sweet spot on the dog and the mm-hmm. leg starts going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, it's yeah. exactly it. Thumper, 100%. Yeah. And then uh, Kai will kind of like fumble, ar- fumble around like, are you, are you there, sir? Like looking for P.I. Papa. Are you, are you nearby? I'm right here. I'll follow the sound of your voice to kind of put myself in the middle middle of both of you, because Kai is pr- pretty tanky, so they'll kind of center themselves there. All right. I think that's my turn, though. I don't think I'm going to take a bonus right now. Okay. Yeah. Next up, this one is going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and... Uh swipe out at this thing and he's going to be the first one to call out an orcish you hear him say something does anyone speak orcish barely speak common uh what did i choose nope <clears throat> okay definitely not me uh, 20. uh he calls something out in this guttural language um one is going to flank or tan and get a crit as it reaches out with this arcane energy and you take 22 points of necrotic energy as this thing reaches out and gets a good grasp on your forearm and layers of skin fall off do a reaction yep or what would you like to do 
Uh, so I have Stone's Endurance. As a reaction, reduce damage dealt to you by 1d12 plus 2. Thanks. Nice. Does Spine Crusher have that? I've never seen him use it. No. Are you sure, though? It doesn't even know. It's a no. Lie, though. <laughs> 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 so that's minus 12 on the damage. So you okay. said 22? Uh, yes, 22 minus okay. 12 would be 10 necrotic that you are just able to. It's it's like uh, they had it set to skin, not stone, when they. <laughs> um, and that's that supposed is... to hurt. Oh, no, nice. I do have stones and turns. I use it. I, I fucking. No, you have not. You <laughs> absolutely <laughs> have not. I fucking knew it. <laughs> No, I do. I have it. I've used it. It's you have never machine. used it. I, uh, you don't. <laughs> you didn't even know what it was until just now. I guarantee it. <laughs> he's gonna use it tomorrow, and then he's gonna forget he has it for the next six to eight months. Hey, can I use that? Uh, I'm gonna use my Rocky Tough Guy thing. I <laughs> think. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, and Rattan around you, you are just getting surrounded. The next one is a 15 or 18 to hit you. Um, and then the last one that is able to take its turn is a 17 to hit you. Do both of those hit? Yes. As they have this energy coalescing in these white ash covered hands, the first one does 15 necrotic damage. It's gonna hurt. And the second... 17 necrotic Ooh. damage as they seem to be coalescing on you and turning around and looking at your teammates but trying to deal with this threat. They... Yep. That's all I'm gonna say for right now. Um, That ends their turn. It is your turn now, Rattan. And you see that you are pretty surrounded right now. I like to rage way too late, but <laughs> might as well do that now. Well, uh, to be fair, not sure how much that would have helped with necrotic damage. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, one second. I think there might be... I'm a half cleric. I'm going to heal myself. Uh, cause... Heal. Because <laughs> I need to. Yeah. Um... And I've never been a cleric before, so I'm trying to figure out how to do it. The half cleric thing, like you bought the, um, the thing online where you can have the license to marry people. Yeah. <laughs> and suddenly it remembers, oh wait, I can, I can do something. Oh, I'm licensed. So, so, yeah. yeah. More of a minister than a cleric. It's like a minister with a first aid kit. Oh. <laughs> Girl, full four after point. <laughs> Stay on task. Or stay on task. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and since I healed a little bit, I can't rage, I think. You know Rages. somebody else really cool who wouldn't rage? Oh boy. Somebody we all know. This can be a dad joke. No, it was just Lord and Savior kind of. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I get it. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Youth pastor kind of thing. All right, sorry. <laughs> and I'm gonna attack the. Uh, so how close is this a uh, orc that's next to me? They're all attacking. Okay, so I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah, you're surrounded. You have five people within five feet of you. Okay. And if I move, it, it's also opportunity attack. So it doesn't. Um. You can disengage. Yeah, you can disengage. You could disengage. Action. But you did it's rage, right? Surrounded by these people. Hold the door, Rattan! Hold the door! <laughs> There's that guy can bunny you know hop. No. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the remaining. Do um, you see a bag that I had taken out when I gave uh, Flarp a bean? I take that bag out, and how close are they? Oh wait, no, that's too close. Never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna disengage. I'm not gonna. Okay. Do Okay. Uh, she went from I'ma light this motherfucker up to now nah, I'm just gonna disengage. Nah, dog. Nah, just kidding. If, come, if come I to did... me. <laughs> come, I... come, come, come. Okay. How far? And you, you can pass through their space. It, it's just a uh, double your movement. Yeah, the one guy's dead. 
Well, yeah, one, yeah, I killed one of them. Yeah, yeah, just well, separate over step over. Step over him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and disengage, so no opportunity attacks as you move there. Right. All right. Does that end your turn? Sadly, it does. Yes. Okay. So next up is this one. It's. Is he dead? Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say it's this one that is slowed here. 5, 10, 15, using his movement. God. All he can do is. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna attack. What's his total movement, by the way? Uh, 30 feet. All so right, half is good, good, good. Uh, yeah, the only thing I was going to say, the um, tentacle of the deep, I, I, when I hit that guy, I think, it does, uh, it takes away 10 feet of booming. Does it? Oh, okay. It does. Oh. So I don't know. Oh. Uh, so he could only oh. go on 10 feet. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he can only move there. All right, so that's that's good. <sighs> he can't even make it to her. And Way to go, uh, senior item. Yep. Nice. Um, that ends their turn, bringing us to Carrots at the top of the round. Holy Sorry, shit. I should have mentioned that earlier. No, no you're good. Better late than never. Okay. Uh, the dude's out of my uh, Irresistible Dance, right? Yes, he has stopped dancing and looks right, unamused. Cool. Yeah, no no doubt. And you're clear um, online. Yeah. Um, <laughs> cool. Um, so I, I, I am also unamused by the fact that he does not like to dance. Uh, no one's happy right now. Yeah, we're in, a, we're in an untenable situation. So um, I uh, point one uh, finger at him. I go, "Yeah, what's up, dick?" And then I uh, point at this guy and I say, and I sort of like turn my hand around and I say, "Run!" And I cast command on him. Okay. Which is so, what wisdom? That is a wisdom saving throw. He is going to pass 19 without mods. Motherfucker. As he looks at you and says something in orcish. Doesn't um, sound pleasant, whatever he said. Yeah, I, immediately he like pulls, he pulls out like an orcish dictionary and starts just passing through. <laughs> <laughs> Roll an intelligence check real quick. Uh, I was kidding. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I am a, a college of creation bard, but I mean, it's not like he could pull that out of his ass. Uh, but hey, it's what, like what, what, orcish what, German. German. Right You're like, damn it! <laughs> ich bin ein Orc Kinder. Shit. Uh, <laughs> flip, 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 flip. Scheiße. Uh, I'll, I'll do an intelligence check anyway, just yep. for the fun of it. Uh, yeah, that's a six. A six? You're pretty well, sure seven. You said Sorry, something seven. about your mom, maybe. You were so Listen. sad as much. Could have been. Uh, you read that from the facial expression. I don't even know who my mom was, so maybe she knows more than I do. <laughs> Have you met her? Um, <laughs> Daddy? Um, all right. I will work this backstory in. God help me. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Actually, wait, I do have a bonus action left, and I do have one more bardic inspiration left. So I, I will, uh, yeah, uh, it's the ears. I will go ahead and um, seeing that that command spell failed miserably, he's like, yeah, fuck it. And um, he turns to, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, in, in whatever language uh, none of you speak, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it just sounds like, um, so he, he, he just turns to uh, Rattan, turns to Rattan, and he puts his little rabbit paw on your leg, Rattan, looks up at you again with these enormous, almost anime-esque eyes, and in your mind, Rattan, you hear, don't worry, everything is going to be okay. And you get a bark inspiration. a speech impediment in his mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> does that end your turn? It does. It, sir. I stay okay. exactly where I am. God help me. Okay. So, that brings us to this one here is going to 5, 10, here we go. 15. He's going to attack Rattan, who ran away, for a 23 to hit. And 
be oh nope those are the wrong dice i'm rolling too big i'm gonna there. actually can i use my reaction dm yeah what do you have uh i have shield of the faithful so i'm gonna use my ability to hinder attacks intended for others so i'm gonna use my reaction to impose disadvantage on that okay so that goes to a uh, 13 to hit yes okay. thank you as yeah. it goes, kind of fuck up its concentration, and it misses. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, like, wasn't even trying to help, just, like, their arms are waving wildly, and a shield, like, flies out in front of your face. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20. If Kai is a pet, someone should attempt to kill it. You're funny, Stone. I'm gonna fucking kill that wolf in the sequel, so help me. <laughs> Uh, um, this last orc is going to run. It has its bonus action so it can get above Kai. And it is going to attack out at Kai for an 18 to hit Kai. Does not hit. Clangs off their Does armor. Does not hit. Okay. Um, that is going to be his turn as it comes to P.I. Papa's turn. I don't like the looks of you. And, uh, Cox's, Cox's musket reloads it, whatever. Takes another shot at the big bad orc. The big baddie. Do I still have advantage? No, unfortunately not, because he's not dancing anymore. Got it. He's still slow, or...? He yeah. is still slow, and I have to remember that with his AC, because it is lower now. Mm. Yeah. 16. 16 is going to hit his lowered AC from slow. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, I got Hunter's Mark, and now I have Colossus Slayer. It is below its max hit points, right? Yes, it is yes. not at max, correct. Yeah, so I do a additional 1d6 and a 1d8, because I'm a okay. Colossus Slayer. Nice. All right, uh, so this damage, 11 plus, what did I say, d8? Eight and plus three, 14. And then uh, plus 6, 20. 20 piercing damage Ooh. total. Nice. Oh. As you shoot and your bullet uh, goes through your target, you see that it's not a red blood that comes out of this thing. It's this black viscera that oh. sprays out the back. You know I'm into that. Y'all <laughs> see that? That doesn't look normal. Something wrong with these these orcs here. Something isn't right. Yeah, but they all have a fucked up. Yeah, have a um, fucked oh, wait, up I there. could. I wouldn't see it. Never mind. I have no questions about it because I did not see it. Okay. Does that end your turn? Yeah, I'm gonna stay put here. Got a good line of sight to this guy. Okay. Uh this guy is going to attack out at um Kai right now. And Very that well. Is going to miss as he swipes out, only gets one attack, and that's going to be his turn because he is underneath the effects of slow and can't do much more. You hit me, I might drop concentration on it, but you gotta hit me first. They're trying. <laughs> um, <laughs> save at the end of his turn for slow. I don't, I don't think I, so. I think it's just no. concentration. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they hit me hard enough to make me lose focus on it. It's dope. No, I'm wrong. Oh, oh my god, no, Marcel, yeah. I'm so oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm so oh, sorry. You're good. You're good. I never you're cast good. this spell I just, before. I just look at it too. That's fine. That's why I'm yep. not looking at spells. Okay. So I, um, I should have looked I just it tried up. to sell underneath it. So fuck it. Roll with it. Um, and next up is the only reason oh, why I asked just... that is because I made the exact same fucking mistake. <sighs> And then I was like, "Well, you get, you, you get two, you get two turns. That's right. <laughs> you get to go twice." I'm like, "Yo, you guys are martial classes in songs. <laughs> I'll have to deal with this." Um, <laughs> Larp, you are up. Oh, cool. All right. Da, 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 da. Like that. You want to join songs? We need a cleric. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you need a paladin. Damn straight. Who needs? Who needs? Who needs a cleric? I mean. Paladins and clerics. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't say paladins are like clerics with swords. Just don't do that. Now I know Matt's buttons. God damn it. I used to be a paladin from when I was like, and that was my first class ever. I played oh. paladins when I was 12 years old. Now I can't get away from them. 
<laughs> Why can't I quit you? Oh. They put cocaine in this? My... <laughs> 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 and... <laughs> yeah, you know what? If it ain't broke. <laughs> if it ain't damn. Uh, lightning bolt again. Hell right. yeah! One in a bunch of them. They're lined up Ayo. like bowling pins, yeah, man. Yeah. Easy. Uh, death yeah, save watch. failed. Um, failed. And uh. uh so they all failed there. Cool. All right. And that will be 28 points of lightning damage. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, again, thunder erupts out in the immediate area as you said 25? 28. 28. Oh, okay. Yep. Um. Oh, yeah. And everything around it is set on fire. It's literally just the yeah, the, the, the lightning <laughs> ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. So all the grass oh, and everything from the yeah, bushes, bush here, yeah, is just kind of flaming. A little bit of fire crackling around. Um, as these two orcs that are here, uh, I'm gonna say that they are both knocked five feet and prone right now because they are on their last fucking leg right now. So Ooh. these guys are just <laughs> not not good right now. And Senior Tickles will go ahead and seeing the one that just fell down, it's going to move right over and just flop down. It's a melee. I'm going to oh, say it's with advantage because right he's now. prone. Yep. yep. Yeah. As they look like they look like you're they're ready to be like dead checked. <laughs> All right. So it'll be uh, what was that? A 14 to hit. That will hit two which will do seven points of cold damage. Wow. A icy corpse lays on the ground and rattles a bit, a little bit of his flesh, kind of like an icicle breaking off. Flarp is just, I don't know. Yeah, he's still invisible. <laughs> Cause he hasn't uh, lost concentration, right? Not after you cast that first spell. Uh, uh, yeah. greater. greater invisibility. That's amazing. No, you're right. You're right. I always forget that. All right. Well then, yeah, Flarp is just kind of <laughs> dancing in the ruins. <laughs> and Kai, you are up now. Um, Kai will, realizing that they just hit Rattan with a shield, I'm sorry, allow me, and will put a hand up on top of her head and cast Cure Wounds at second level. Run me a d20 to see if you grab the orc. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so unfortunate. <laughs> Um, Rattan, sorry, you're only going to heal for 13 hit points for that. You. Are you, better. are you satisfied with your care today? Oh, <laughs> still, still in her deck. Um. A lollipop would be nice, but this is fine. Um, Kai produces like a molasses stick from their pocket. Here you go. It sticks to the back oh. of your hair. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna use my bonus Take it again. Out of my hair, put it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that that'll be their turn. All right. Um, next up are <clears throat> these guys. Who's going to buy? 10, 15, 20. Uh, Rattan, you get an opportunity attack as one of these orcs runs by you. Yeah. I smack it with my club. Smack it. Bob uh, it. Pull it. Twist, <laughs> twist it. <laughs> <laughs> did, did we already tell Marcel he has advantage? Does he? Yeah. Stone and Hat gave you advantage, Marcel. Oh, I didn't even oh. see it. Oh, oh this, is, this, this is how it feels. Okay. <laughs> he's my inspiration here. He's mad because I used the advantage that Mike gave me in the final <laughs> battle against this wolf like an asshole. <laughs> You're gonna use you're gonna use your advantage in the attack roll, Rattan? Uh yes. Okay, cool. If you do so, then you have that mode of inspiration, which basically uh sorry, mode of potential. Um so the target and any creature of your choice that you can see within five feet of it must succeed on a con saving throw. DC fifteen. 
A lot of them, right? Yeah. Uh, there's okay. two. It was it's just there's two. It's the five feet of the creature, right? So it's this guy here. Well, that you well, I was wow. moving the, the one I was doing the opportunity attack, right? Oh, so that's true. So it would be here that you did it. Mm-hmm. So these two. They're still just. So, so it would be that creature and yeah, that too. Yeah. Three total. One. Two. Okay. And this guy because he was he moved from that spot, so it was it's those three. <laughs> So you said that's extra damage that they're all taking? So they have to make a con saving throw. DC 15. Uh, first one passed. Second okay. one failed. Cool. So they so roll your inspiration die, Rattan, for your attack roll. A D4, right? A D8. Oh. D8, right. Two. Two? Okay, so they take two thunder damage, and then you add the two to your attack roll. That, too, is going to be enough to finish the prone guy on the ground who failed his con save. Okay. So it's a total of five. And it it also, um, Rattan, not knowing how much effort it would take uh, to kill this orc, she also used Crusher, which moved the corpse back five feet. (laughs) Dope! Rolls a little bit. Ragdoll. Yep. All right. Um, (laughs) And that was your opportunity attack to this orc running past you on its turn. It is going to run here by three of your teammates, and this sickly-looking orc is going to pull out a dagger and plunge it into its own chest. (gasps) Oh, no. As it does, I need... Carrots, Kai, no. and Papa to make a con save as it seems to almost rupture. It's a and bomb! <laughs> 17. Sticks this knife in his chest and twists it. You pass. You Not 20. You pass as well. Con save, you said? Correct. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a seven. Okay, you are the only one that fails if you pass. Well. Half damage. (laughs) (laughs) Ooh, good rolls. Okay. Meant to be. Uh, If you failed, you're taking 18 poison damage. If you pass, it's going to be 9, but that nat 20, I'm going to give you a total of 5 to take just a little bit of boon on that. I appreciate that because I'm resistant to poison. So should I take three? <laughs> sure. Yay! As it explodes, and you're just like, "What was this?" Ow! And he is no longer here as I, he falls to the ground. After that, I have advantage against poison. So you would roll that with advantage, being the hill dwarf that you are, good sir. I already passed, so okay. So am I poisoned? I, okay, so not poisoned. Okay, just poison damage. Correct. Okay. All right. Uh, and mm. with that, uh, carrots, are you up? Or are you down? So as this thing explodes, this like blackish goop, um, and it's like that scene in Roger Rabbit where he's just like covered in in. What, what is that stuff at the end of the movie where he's like spring? What is it called? Uh, Roger Rabbit. Who's afraid of Roger uh, Rabbit? Slime. So long no, no, no. It's yeah. called the the dip. The dip. The dip. That's what it's called. So he's just covered in the dip, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like covered in it. And he's like, <laughs> and he's just like he's just spitting it out of his mouth, and then he like. He sort of like does what he's like, and like you just literally see, literally, uh, birds coated with blackish ooze like <laughs> swiveling around his head. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> and he looks like he's about to fall down. He grabs Kai on the shoulder. He's like, <laughs> oh dear, jumps into Kai's arms. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? (laughs) I understand. Keep him alive, guy. One hit point. 
Oh. One. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> um, and that is just this one to turn. Okay. Uh, this other one is going to run up to uh finish okay. him. Oh, shit. <laughs> Rattan and carrots both get an opportunity attack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> carrots like in Kai's arms, just like pulls out sting like out of nowhere. Like a rapier. That's twice his size. <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> How the fuck did he get this thing? It says Acme on the side of it. <laughs> does it like start singing? It does. Oh it has a <laughs> Oh my god. Anka Shane, darling. <laughs> and like. Stabs. <laughs> Just stab. Oh my god, my face hurts from laughing. <laughs> Rapier attack. Here we go. <sighs> Uh, that is an 11 to hit. That will miss. Oh, even damn Acme product. I hit it. It just Dang. bends. It's like a rubber sword. Just <laughs> <laughs> the sword grabs a microphone out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, Hand did yours hit your opportunity attack? Oh. Han takes her flail out as she sees carrots just try to like stab the guy and uh she'll swing it and it does hit uh with a 18. okay yeah that'll hit go ahead and roll that damage <laughs> so good to use as it is running past allowing these opportunity attacks to get closer towards kai so uh, that will be a uh, nine damage, um, but the force of the flail hitting the um, orc or oh, oh, will uh, move it back five feet. As it was essentially running that direction, you kind of propel it forward a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it gets here uh, towards Kai, and it rolls a 21 to hit Kai. Oof. Um, 21 just hits. Also, I'm blind, so if you want to try and crit me, that's advantage. Oh, that was with advantage to... to okay, to okay. 21 just hits, yeah. That's my AC. You take 11 points of necrotic damage. Oh, dear. As Kai bleeds. Um... It's more like hydraulic fluid, but yeah, it's not good. Uh, let me know if you still have concentration up on slow... <laughs> I've and never been a caster. I don't know. Let's find out. It's like, please, God. Drop God's at that. That's a 12. Sorry, man. And then uh, the one is going to run up and try to attack Carrots, who is on his last leg. Oh, no. And that is going to be a 15 to hit Carrots. And Carrots um, AC. I'm going to use my reaction to impose disadvantage on that, please. Oh. Since he's in my arms, I'm just going to be like, no, thank no. you. <laughs> Bringing it to a 12 to hit. Yes! Amazing! Thanks. My AC was 14. Wow. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> uh, as he comes up, tries to attack uh, carrots in your arms and is unable to. And that is going to bring us to Rattan's turn. Um, well, I would like to rage. Yeah, you do! Yeah, you it's fucking okay. do! <laughs> It's so. <laughs> Did we skip me? I would very much like to. Did carrots too. just go? Carrots did not no. go. That was no. an opportunity oh, attack. Almost died. Wow. That was an okay. opportunity attack. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Rattan, yeah. Gonna hit with a two. A two to hit. Correct is going to miss. Um. What's the seven? You got a two to hit. Wait, no, Nine. there's no oh. way it would be a two, because you'd have yeah. a proficiency modifier. That's, that's what I was about to say. I, I guess a base roll of two. Mm. Uh, yeah, and then I'm just looking at rage, because I've never been a barbarian before, and I did read this, but I don't remember all the stuff anymore. I'll help you. class, we guess. Oh, plus two. So nine, ten, eleven, that still doesn't hit, right? 
Uh, oh wait, you, I have inspiration from you. You uh, do have you, inspiration, and the plus two is going to be to your damage rolls, not attack rolls. Oh, that's right, melee damage. You can always choose to recklessly attack if you're level two or higher, um, and just get advantage, but you leave yourself open and have advantage on attacks as well. And I think you used my inspiration on the yeah. opportunity attack yeah. as well. She, she has inspiration from being first on the call. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I see I'm spat. <laughs> I want to be the ems pet. I'm punctual. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just jealous. So good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna. Yeah, so 11 doesn't hit. Uh, I like that rule. Yeah. First, up, first to show. First to show up. Smart. The problem so with that, that is, I know exactly who would always be the DM's pet every single fucking time. I know as well. <laughs> I've seen your stream, and I also know. I know. I know. <laughs> so 18, that'll hit. I think. To hit, that will hit. And, and which one are you attacking? The one that's between me and the big bad guy. Got you. Clearing the road. Uh -huh. will be 12 damage. All right. Sorry, they're uh, 14 damage. All right. Got that marked down as he looks not in great shape. That looks to, and you're not sure if he can take another hit just like that. And he's be uninjured before, so. <laughs> and uh, he falls back into the arms of the, uh, the bigger ogre, or at least uh, if he catches him. Oh, um, roll me uh, a d6. All right. <laughs> one. <laughs> you see him uh, fall into the other one. It looks like uh, they took some damage from it. Uh, does that end your turn? Yes. All right. Bringing us to... You guys are breaking all my toys. Um, Carrots at the top of the round. Okay. Uh, I mean, Carrots is mega fucked up at this point in time. <laughs> and... Uh, he's kind of surrounded by people and bad guys and monsters and shit. So I think he thinks that the closest way that everyone could potentially die is this big boss. So he's just gonna... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. He's next to one of his own guys, isn't he? He is. We're all kind of in a cuddle puddle, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, he's been really maxing these wisdom saving throws. That's the problem. So... Um, how about something other than wisdom? Right, Matt? Sure. Well, let's try something other than wisdom. Um, how about... Oh. Oh, 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 yes. Sure, no problem. Um, this is a spell that I've never cast before in any game, so... Oh! Um, uh, yeah, so he, uh, carrots, like, weakly sort of, like, puts a, a hand out towards the, uh, the orc leader, shall we say? Um, and I guess it'll, it, he, he will cast a spell, but a question I have for you is, um, c c is this orc, uh, uh, immune to being frightened? Um, I don't believe so. Okay, cool. So he'll need to make an intelligence saving throw. Okay. Five. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, what? Five? Yeah, that's a failure. DC was 17. All right. So, um, you watch as like a little rabbit paw sort of swivels through the air and just goes right into this creature's uh, um, like head. Um, and now Carrot is inside this creature's mind. So it's like it's like a black plane, and you just see Karis just standing there, completely untouched, and like facing off against this creature. And he's like, 
So, we finally meet face to face. You may think that I am your enemy, but I am not. You see these, and he points to all of the other orcs, and they sort of like appear, like as misty shapes around him. They are your true enemies. They must be, and he raises an eyebrow, dealt with. So, the target loses its ability to distinguish friend from foe regarding all creatures it can see as enemies until the spell ends. Each time the target takes damage, it can repeat the saving throw, ending the effect on itself on a success. Whenever the affected creature chooses another creature as a target, it must choose the target at random. <laughs> from among the creatures it can see within range of the attack, spell, or other ability it's using. If an enemy provides an opportunity attack from the affected creature, the creature must make that attack if it is able to. Okay. What's that spell? It's called Enemies enemy. Abound. Yeah, I hope he's got that. All right. Oh, wow. So uh, does that end your turn? Is this on his turn or does he make the attack now? So when so it's a concentration spell. So on his turn, random, random, random. Whoever he chooses, it has to be someone who you know. It's it. It, it doesn't matter whether it's Kai or whether it's the dude next to him or anybody. But he's just gonna start making random attacks on people, and and you can choose as DM how to how to randomize that. I got okay. Um. So does that end your turn right now? Uh. Yeah. Let me check if I have any bonus action shit. Uh, that was my action. Do I have any other bonus action shit? Bonus action? Um, uh, I got one more bardic inspiration. Who wants it? Me. No, no, you don't count me. <laughs> <laughs> Flarp has I mean, been, I'm... like, just pinging from afar. You know what, P.I. Papa, you're the person who I haven't given I haven't given a bonus inspiration to. And I think it's because of our long-standing feud. But I can <laughs> put that aside. I can put that aside for now. Because I'm that kind of a rabbit. Um... And uh, he just turns to you uh, after he has entered the brain of this creature, comes back to you, Pia Papa, and looks at you. His eyes are enormous. And then he's like, nah, nah, that won't work. That won't work. Never mind. Um, he looks at you and says, Fwens. And you have DM and, or not to, DM. I'm sorry, sorry. I thought, uh, sorry. To P.I. Papa. Yeah. Uh, Everyone's like, huh, that's my name. Yeah, I thought you were talking to Flarp. Um, known you for a long time. Carrots. Is that what I mean? I reach out my hand. Friends. All right. There you Thank go. You. Part of inspiration. <clears throat> Thank you. Right. And if that ends your turn, Carrots. It does. I have one hit point. <laughs> next up is this guy here who is going to attack out at you know what? Let me roll for this. Uh with this he is attacking out at Rattan. So I am going to roll this. That is a twenty-three to hit Rattan. Oof. As this hand wrapped <laughs> this energy will hit you for oof. Nineteen points of necrotic energy. Holy How's she looking? I am down. Oh, <sighs> With that, you hear some uh, some raspy cheers come out from what is remaining of these orcs. It's a fight. Uh, and right, sorry, I was just checking real quick. Yep. Okay. Battle cries go out. As their stone giant, clunk, clunk, the ground shakes a little bit. As your titan has fallen. Which is going to bring us now to P.I. Papa. Or ten. No. As I'm still holding on to, uh, to, um, to Carrot's hand. And I look over at the orc next to me and I see Rattan in the distance fall and the orcs. I kind of feel like we're... Pia Papa feels like they're losing the battle. He's feeling a little bit of despair. He turns. 
how um marcel question for you do you i want to switch to my melee weapons some dms require an action some dms don't how do you how are you going to dm it it's gonna be action for you to pull it out. I'm not gonna okay. be too picky about it. As long okay. as you're not like I shoot the crossbow and I take out my sword and I swack and then I pull out my dagger and stab him in the chest. Like I'll work hey, with so, you. So maybe specific about my question. I want to drop my musket and pull out both <clears throat> my dagger and my yikalwa at the same time. I'll allow it. Okay. You just you, you just like... have to go back and pick up your weapon later. So you kind of just drop it and. Okay. Yeah. So I drop I drop a uh, carrot's hand and I drop my musket. And I reach down, and I pull out my Yakulwa, um and my dagger, and I'm going to turn to the orc directly to the left of me, and I'm going to take an attack. Okay. And I have extra attack with this, um, because it's not an ammunition weapon. Gotcha. Uh, all right, so let me do one at a time. So the Yakulwa first. That attack is 22. We'll hit. Okay. Okay, so that damage is that. So that'll be three damage, um, plus what are the things I have? Creature takes an extra D8. Is it, is it below its hit point maximum? It is, yep. right? Yep. So three plus six, so nine. And then I can also add a D6 to it. <coughs> Sorry, one sec. I got so much I can do, but it's all over my character sheet. Um, where is it? extra 1d8 I thought I had an extra d6 thing I can do but I don't see it right now I'm not going to hold up the game alright and then I'll attack with my dagger as well the extra attack okay or two two weapon fighting is what I mean uh, I get so you. two weapon fighting oh and then I do have extra attack as well so that's four damage there with another d8 on you top slash of that, I and believe. he staggers no it's only once per turn that I can do the Colossus Slayer movement um and then sorry one sec so i have extra attacking attack twice when i take the attack action so i'm gonna do both of those again sorry all right all right so 20 the hit hits all right that hits and this will be uh seven seven piercing he looks like he's on his last leg and then i can attack with a dagger one more time is that right um can i I said the same turn. I think it it's be... uh, attack. The attack action is like I think the offhand is usually a bonus action. Yeah, once per turn with the bonus action. You're right. It's a bonus action, but then it can attack twice. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, two two you regular attacks attack. in your main, but then one with the and bonus. then one more. Got it. Okay, so that's everything then. Okay, and he looks like he is, yeah, like you could spit on him and he dies. Yeah. Um, okay. That ends your turn. So. Uh, this guy is going to be up and is going to attack out at uh, actually no he's not he's gonna 5 10 and he's gonna attack out at carrots and try and finish him off uh -huh. for a nat 20 yeah oh well oh shit it was meant to be sorry let's see what happens let's see uh what happens. that's 20 necrotic if it matters for anything um, as he steps there, and in your arms, Kai, uh, your teammate goes limp. Is everything all right, sir? There's just X's <laughs> over his eyes. There's just X's and, yeah. And oh, dear. He stands here. I'm going to oh move the tan right here for right now, just so she's not underneath him, but he's standing over her body, essentially. Fucking rude. Um, <laughs> as that brings us to Flarp. Flarp, you have seen some of your teammates are Man. down. You have a hard time seeing this through the bushes, but you can tell that, you know, things aren't looking great. Oh, I just can't get right to him. I'm just and Kai's on deck after right Flarp. <sighs> All right. Well, I will. Uh, I'm going to walk up. So. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Right. Close as I can get it for now. Um, yeah, I'm going to try Eldritch Blast. Two bolts. Oh, boy. Uh, At which one? That's uh, Big Bad. 
All right. It's gonna be uh, 20 to hit. That will hit. Right. You want me to roll them separate for both the ones? Roll what separate? It's uh, so Eldritch Blast at higher levels. It's like a uh, separate arcs. It says roll for each target, but for each beam. Sorry, each beam. So yeah, I had to roll another one. All right, nat twenty. Wow. Oh. Hey. Right. So that will be eight points of uh, Eldritch Blast damage. Uh. <laughs> About, yeah, that's about it for now. Oh, wait, no. Senior Tickles is going to come up. Hey, that's right. Yeah, she is. <clears throat> and she's going to... Uh, yeah, she's going to go ahead and just attack... Uh, yeah, Big Bad as well. Okay. You can roll to hit. That'll be 16 to hit. Uh, that will hit. Um, I did roll at the end of his turn, and, um, the slow finally did end. Um, I forgot to mention that. I finally Mazel tough. 18. I, I assume that beats your spell save DC, 18. Uh, yep, sure does. Um, I know what those are. I use them. All right, so that will be 11 points of cold damage. All right. And he doesn't look very well. Looks like he's using a lot of energy just to keep himself upright right now. And yeah, Flarp is just gonna start growling like, that's what my to kill, damn it. And Kai, you are up now. Um. Kai senses that something is wrong with carrots and like gently puts his body down, shouts over their shoulder to P.I. Papa. We have a less than 72% chance of um, winning this fight, sir. <laughs> um, and then you see Kai's eyes kind of like spin back and start flashing red and white like, uh, like alarm kind of sirens and then they'll extend their hands like directly into the biggest orc and say I said no thank you and cast and flick wounds at third yes. level <laughs> do you have to be able to see a target to cast that spell do I I need to be able to touch them it's touch yeah it's touch okay so um, I, I am gonna roll two I think that would still be a disadvantage for a spell Without attack? A save. There's no save. Right? No, I have to. It's a, it's a spell attack. attack. So I think that's a disadvantage if you're blinded. All right, then I'm going to use the inspiration you gave me for no, saying no. fucky earlier and roll it straight. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Inspiration for Fuck! Oh, man. I just burned a third level slot. 12 doesn't hit, does it? not hit the big bad. Can I give myself guidance? Is that a thing? How do clerics work? <laughs> <laughs> On most things. That um. sucks. It is what it is. Okay. Um, and By then... the way, the one that is that cast blindness deafness is marked right down here. And he's so close to death. And he's passed his couple of con saves. And he's just trying to be a team player till he drops. And good for him. Um, you see, like, steam starts kind of, like, pouring out of the back of Kai's neck. And then they, uh, they kind of extend their hands and they'll cast Mass Healing Word. So okay. all y'all except Flarp are getting... You getting hit points and you getting hit points. Hold on. I don't... Those are two leveled spells, though, correct? It's a bonus. Yeah, but you can't do two level spells. One has to be a cantrip. <gasps> is that how it works? Mm -hmm. yep. I would not have. I would not have cast inflict wounds. I know that. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. I would have brought you back and then not done inflict wounds. I don't think any of the mates know that, except maybe Isabel. I didn't know that. <laughs> Damn. I'm so real no sorry. What, you never cast more than one spell, even if it's a bonus action. It's no, 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 one no. leveled yeah. spell per turn. So right. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's first, second, third, one level, the other one can be a cantrip. Right. I had no idea. Even if it's I a bonus, had no idea either. Even if you can do it as a bonus Correct. action, is that right? Even if the it's more action. you know. Um, um, unless you're like a fighter that can action surge, then you can get around it and action one spell, action surge, cast another spell. Yep. That okay. Is great to know. Or sorcerer yeah. and do quicken spell. All right. Well, then I will bonus bonus action um, spare the dying on Rattan. Ah. Uh, uh. I will Jeez, allow it, even though they're both actions right now. You can bonus action spare the dying right now because the DM is benevolent. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no no! That's that's not. It is an action. No, yep, I should. Nope, I should. All right. I, I, I should be allowed it. to do it. Too late. It's done. It's done. You cast spare the dying. It's not your fault. I don't know how clerics work, so thank you. Um, does that end your turn? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that no, sucks. That wasn't a trick question. Um. This one here is going to... It would have been so dope if that had worked the way I thought it would. Hen, and is going to attack out at P.I. Papa for a 17 to hit. The 17, 17, that hits. Oh, yeah. As its hands reach out with this glowing energy and you take 12 necrotic damage. Okay. And that is going to be its turn, uh, bringing us to this last one here that's on his last leg. He's gonna... <laughs> no, he wouldn't disengage and run. He's not about that life. He's gonna attack out at you for an 18 to hit. This that doesn't seem too. like the same kind of magic, but oh, it does no. pretty much the same kind of damage. 12 that's necrotic that. damage uh, to you. Okay. <laughs> I know that okay. Yeah. Um, that is going to end their turns, bringing us back to carrots at the top of the round. Here we go, death saving throw. I'm not dead. I'm just, just dying. There you go. I'm only slightly dead. I'm only slightly dead. Here we go. Okay. Rolling. Well, folks, that's a natural one. Ooh. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, why did In your didn't... arms, carrots coughs up blood. Oh, no. It's a bunny. Little, little, like, little butterflies just, like, start coming out. <laughs> like... Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Even better for, for carrots flavor. In your arms, you see his soul, a ghost-like version of him coming out the body. You're <laughs> able to push it back in. Yes. Play the harp. Like a little like, like a harp. It's got a little as halo. You're doing it, like, like it. you don't even have to do anything, Kai. On his own, Carrots is trying to push it back into his body, but it is just kind of <laughs> levitating out on its own. Carrots. Carrots. Um, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> with that, this one here is going to go he is going to 5, 10, 15. Okay. And in a similar fashion, he takes... Oh, uh, Kai, you get an attack of opportunity. No, thanks. <laughs> um, Kai, Kai's a pacifist. <laughs> um, with that, he's going to take his... Actually, he's going to move right here. And he is going to take out that dagger and plunge it into his chest. Fuck! Oh, God. As you had seen before. Why y'all keep doing that? <laughs> um, they scream something in Orcus before they do it, and I need Kai, P.I. Papa, um... Huh, to make this constitution save. When the smoke clears, uh... Carrots is not to be seen when it clears. That would have been his last death saving throw. And he has a ring that you know has teleported him somewhere where people are trying to bring him back. Oh, but I ever vivified. Now he's gone. <laughs> I failed you, Carrots. Made to 15. Face tradition. Yeah. 15 is going to pass. Uh, I, I'm, I was so sad about Carrots, I forgot what I rolled. Uh, nine. You fail. Uh, you are taking 21 on a failure. I'll go on ahead and save. just... Yeah. I'll on go ahead and just take 12. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, wait, it's 11. I'm going to take 11 because I got resistance. There you go. That's what it is. Um, as when it does this, I take 12, right? Or was it 12? 12. You failed? I passed. I passed. So 12. Okay, then correct. 12. Yep. Okay. Um, as the smoke clears, uh, this orc here, uh, seems like it is in poor condition after being caught in that blast radius with you all, as now it is P.I. Papa's turn. God. Uh, Carrots. He looks around, it's kind of like, kind of that, like, trying to make sense of everything, like, you know, in a war where it's just chaos around you. You just see, he looks around, you just see his bodies covered in this black ichor on the ground and his friends dying around him. Takes his dagger and his, uh, and his Yakawa one more time and is just going to lash out at the remaining orcs surrounding him. Uh, so first is the Yakawa at the, the orc that's to the left of him. Okay. Do I, no advantage yet. No advantage. Seven. Seven hit will miss as he barely gets around your attack. Mm -hmm. uh, the dagger will be a 15. That will hit. That will be that, and I get a, I still get a D8 on top of this, right? Sorry. For my, yeah, uh, once per turn, it's, it's D8. So that's, what was that, four plus seven, so 11 to him. He is He's down. Dead. Okay, and I get one more hit, um, right. one more attack against, I, do, do, from my perspective, do I, okay, is that other one dead too? Uh, the one to your left that you hit, you just yeah. finished it. The one to your right is the one that stabbed itself in the chest. <clears throat> it's dead. So there's one directly below me. So one I more can attack see. With my, my Yekulwa. <laughs> yes, your sight returns. Please. Oh, fuck. Eight. Eight will miss as it kind of swats your weapon out the way with its walking stick spear. <sighs> I will kill you. <laughs> okay. Does that end your turn? Yeah, it's my turn. Next up is the big bad, who's going to approach Kai, and with a 21, I want to say, yes, 21 to hit. No, 22 to hit. A likely story. Yes, that hits. <laughs> um, with a 22 and him having access to multiple oh, attacks. No, it, no, it doesn't. Big, wait, I'm going to impose disadvantage using the tentacle. Because the tentacle of the deep, Senorita Tickles has the ability within things to within 10 feet of it to, yeah, try to smack it out of the way. Okay, so on a reroll, this is a 15 plus 6 for 21. Sure, it, it is. Do no, it yeah. <laughs> no, that me it, yeah, that means it. Yeah. If anything, it just kind of drives it even deeper. Than Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh. <laughs> So what you see happen is this thing grabs you, and it doesn't look like it does any damage with its first attack. However, it is going to bite you. No weapons. He bites you for eight piercing, and you take eight necrotic, and the eight necrotic is going to reduce your maximum hit points by that amount. Oh my gosh. As he seems to gain some vitality off of biting you. Oh, no. Uh, I, no joke, I feel like I'm playing Gloomhaven right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And no. that ends his turn. I got that reference. Right, good. LARP, you are up. Uh, all right. So, I'm going to use Senorita Tickles first to hit him. Do you have guidance still, or you don't because I'm... Because that, that spell's not supposed to end until you use it. Just let you know. But from the last session. Who, me? Yeah. Oh. Uh, like, yeah, I didn't realize that. Guidance is just for, like, ability checks, though, right? I think. That's but I haven't had Make sure you remembered. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So, I can, so I'm going to use... I'm going to attack with Tentacles of the Deep for 11. So that doesn't do anything. Um... Flarp is going to uh, what the hell 
The, the stone golem technically isn't there anymore, right? So oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, the stone golem has nothing to do with me being there. It's literally oh, okay. it's from Is the it... card. Oh. Still there. there it's still there. Yeah, Flarp is going to walk up behind the, uh, flanking the big bad. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to try and use Inflict Wounds as well, first level. All right. Make that attack roll. For a 12. Wait, is it with advantage because it's flanking or? Yes. I will say okay. right now. 21. Nice. All right, that hits. Okay. What you got? That will be 16 points of necrotic damage. Uh, when you hit it with a necrotic, the 16 points, you feel like it doesn't do its full damage. Okay. And, yep, that is going to be... Yeah, that's Flarp's turn. All right. Hi, you are up. Do I have any reason to think that any of these creatures are undead? Or they just seem like orcs? Um, what's your passive? Uh, 17. The blood that is leaking out of this thing seems very old. It doesn't seem like something that's alive. It seems like it could be undead what you are fighting right now. The other orcs that are dead seem to be bleeding normal blood. But this one in front of you definitely has dark viscera that sprays out of it. Doesn't seem... Doesn't seem... Wow. It seems very coagulated. Imagine if the cleric had thought of that like 10 rounds ago. Okay. Um, Kai is going to just sidestep just so, just to hear. Um, and with like one head turned over their shoulder, like looked at P.I. Papa. I am sorry I failed the request that you gave me. And then lean down and cure wounds on Rattan. Um... Britan, you are going to recover 17 hit points. Damn. That's my last... Oh, that's my last second level. And then... Um, like, quickly standing back up, Kai will... Nope, that's an action. I can't do that. Um, what are my bonus actions? Why am I so bad? I'm bad at being everything except a barbarian. I'm not even that good at being a barbarian. Um, You're awesome at everything you try, Ash. Thank you. I know that's true. Um, yeah, with with their eyes kind of like flickering again, they'll make a gesture um, and summon a bunch of like shields with the first aid symbol on them that'll start like spiraling around and summon spiritual weapon. Okay. Uh, can't do two level spells though. <sighs> It's a cantrip. Oh, fuck, is it second level? I'm so sorry. I thought it was a cantrip. What's my cantrip? Why am I so bad at this? It's sacred flame. Sacred flame is the one, but that's an action, so I can't do it. We don't really follow the rules on Maids of Fate. You're kind of being a buzzkill. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's so lame. He does rules. It's so lame. You know how many, like bonus potions that came out of nowhere you drank and fanned over they were just coming out of nowhere it's fine i'm just kidding i think that's my turn then i don't think i have a bonus i can that'll really help me here so yeah thanks thanks for having me after that it is going to be this guy that is going to come here um okay so rattan is he is going to come over here and do the same kamikaze thing. So I need Kai and P.I. Papa to make me another con save. And Papa, these are at advantage for you because of your dwarven heritage. Ah. 11? 11 is going to fail, unfortunately. Something good. 17. What's, what's the radius of that explosion thing? Uh, five foot radius around himself. So Rattan is good. Mm. Well, then why? Um, okay, never mind. The one earlier moved right to where this guy is now. 
he moved right below you. So it was everybody in this five foot radius around him, above him and all the adjacent squares. And this one is essentially moving to the same spot. Okay. Um. So right there, oh shit. I moved my dice without looking at them. God damn it. Um. So that is going to be 12 points of damage on a fail. Six if you saved. And if you saved with resistance, three. I failed. He... failed with resistance. Oh, three damage to me? Correct. Okay. As he falls, and there's a small pile of orcs here. They are, like, falling on themselves. Um, and that is going to end his turn. Is he's dead. Uh, and brings us to Rattan. Welcome back. Yep. Uh, uh, so, the just the big orc is still alive. Correct. All right. So I'm gonna do. F- uh, so I look over at Kai. How's Kai doing? Um, pretty, pretty okay. Like. Uh, so I'm gonna like a third okay. Third okay. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go in frenzy attack. Yeah, you will. Um, gonna rage again, or? Oh well, I can't do both frenzy attack or rage. You raged before, though, right? And then I she did, KO'd. But then I went unconscious. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. So your extra attack on your frenzy isn't gonna come into effect until next round. Next turn. Yeah. Yeah. I get the sense that you don't want me to do that. <laughs> no, I mean, you can. I'm just saying, like, it's it sucks when you have to wait, you know, because you're in a frenzy. <laughs> oh, what you thinking? Uh, we can't you're, hear you, Alicia. Stop picking you. you up. Can you hear me? Now we can. Really? Yep. Barely? Yeah. Maybe move your microphone down. It's it's up. It's a it's a uh, sandal. <laughs> uh, is that better? Yeah. Gonna be a twenty-six to hit. Yeah. That's it. So nine damage. How much? Nine. Nine damage. Okay. <laughs> he roars at you, still grappling on to Kai. Seeing if I can do anything else. I mean, he also does get knocked back five feet. Ah, five feet. And that does not provoke any opportunity attacks, as it is involuntary, but he stumbles backwards. Am I grappled? Uh, I'm going to say no. Okay. Turn. And that ends your turn, bringing us to... Carrots, so you <laughs> had your soul leave your body, and it had taken the clerics essentially time to get to you. Where you are, you take a breath and you are surrounded by spectators. What am I saying? You see Virgil Timbers, the small gnome from before, as he looks down at you, very concerned. Are you okay? He says, as I give him the most sarcastic look uh, I have ever given any creature in my entire existence. (laughs) I think his eyes are broken. Um, (laughs) Is there anything you'd like to do on your turn uh, right now as you have woken up and you are just waking up? 
Yeah, I, I cast Tasha's hideous laughter on myself. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good just, old Novocaine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just laughing incessantly. You just hear him go like... <laughs> 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 just like can't stop laughing. Uh, and just they like the camera like zooms up like like in like the Y look. And it's just like it's just him just cracking up. Cut to a couple of guys, couple of random clerics and cloaks that were in the tent, uh, and they just start not knowing why you're laughing. Just a slow chuckle built. <laughs> 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 and people are just in there kind of awkwardly laughing with you, right? I love it. Um, bringing us to P.I. Papa. P.I. Yeah, Papa picks up his musket, bends on the heels of, a f- of his feet, does a 180, turns towards the big large orc in like a scene out of like Terminator, throws out the musket. Takes a puff on his pipe. Smoke comes out. This one's for carrots. He's gonna shoot at him. Ten. Roll with advantage for the lead up. Okay. Come on. Sixteen. Sixteen is just going to miss this guy with his actual armor class after slow is done. Oh, man. All right. As the maybe, bullet maybe grazes past him. Yeah. Uh, Flarp, you are up now. Flarp is going to use Primal Savagery. Yeah. So it's going to be a 22 to hit. That will hit. All right. Four. Do, 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 do. 10 points of, uh, I think it's flashing damage. How do you want to do this? Hey! Yeah. At this point, Flarp is just like, God, it almost fucking hit me. <laughs> I had the worst day of my life. The rabbit died. <laughs> and I just, one quick swipe, and it just slits his throat. And my claws go back to like normal afterwards, but there's like a mo- like that Bilbo Baggins like <laughs> moment. <laughs> Angry Bilbo, got you. Yeah. Um, and that uh is going to bring us out of initiative, as you all have cleared this immediate area. Uh, Flarp has identified where the object is at least, but you are down one party member that you have lost in the fight. I turn to PA Papa. Um, able to see again, I put a mechanical hand on his shoulder. I am sorry about your friend. Blow out some smoke from my pipe. It's okay. You did what you could. Now we gotta get what we came here for and get back. Where's Carrot's body? We gotta take him with us. It is gone. Proper bear. It's, no, it's, I know he's gone. Talking about his body. Where's his body? It is gone. You, you don't, I look around and I see that Carrot's body is missing. What, in tarnations? Where did his body go? I want to think a better place, but who knows? Jump cut to carrots, just like hilariously laughing. <laughs> <laughs> carrots, you would notice off in the distance, there are two people that you've seen before. The two uh, young humans that were cleaning the bridge, they seem to be coming back in after a long day of work. They see you sitting there, and one of them, it seems like one of them hands the other a couple of silver pieces. <laughs> carrots, like, that's a, that's a, that's a. <laughs> But real quick, back to the other party. That yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm I am, I am dead. Flark, Flark would have been able to tell you that inside he would have uh, seen it, unless he didn't tell you. <laughs> Let me not speak for you. Flarp, have you found the item we are seeking? Yeah, I tried to grab it, and the thing kind of like, zapped me, and then I couldn't grab it, and then you were all like, what's going on? And then the only thing was bad. You've done admirably. Could you please lead the way? 
Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> oh, wait. Can I take the extra ring that I pulled out, put it on the finger of the uh, the big bad orc guy, and then kick him in the teeth to see if that sends him back? Yep, you do that, and his body disappears. <laughs> oh. Why would you make carrots fight that creature again? <laughs> well, now they're gonna have him, and they can take him prisoner, and then they can torture him, and all sorts of things. Carrots, where you are, you see an orc appear, and there's a conversation amongst the people. Do we bring him back? Why was he sent here? It looks like they're about to revive him. Parrot's like immediately like leap. <laughs> he uses his last rabbit hop and like jumps on this. He jumps from where he's sitting, um, like on top of this orc, and grabs his ukulele. And he literally looks like he will fuck anyone up. He comes close to him. <laughs> he's just like strumming, like. <laughs> like he's he's coming. Coming. right now, just rock music. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> As they all kind of wide-eyed back up a little bit, um, seeing you kind of standing guard over this body now. <laughs> uh, the rest of the party, you see that there is a platform. Um, it has a faint <laughs> shimmering arcane aura around it, and it has this uh, line of text. It seems like a question in broken common um it says how many letters are there in the orcish alphabet i never learned that i should have asked that orc guy before we kill them do they have an alphabet assuming they would yes um, they have an alphabet put it in general chat in case you guys want to read it you got any books around here? Can we count the letters? Wait, is the question in common? Yes. It's the number of letters in the actual words or alphabet? Maybe. P. 17. Oh, no. That would be 17. And once you say that it seems as if the arcane field around this thing ceases to function didn't think that would work nor i no. mm -hmm. all right well let's try it again we'll reach up and grab it uh-oh the same uh, point where you were thrown back, you pass, and you're able to grab the snow globe, and you are holding it in your hands. Please be gentle with it, Flarp. It's so pretty, though. <laughs> Perhaps I could hold it for you. Not really fine. It's not because and... you're up, Alicia. Just... <clears throat> Did carrots just die? Because of a snow globe. Like, yes. What's special about this thing? Everyone dies for something. Kind of nice. Not usually a snow globe. It was Carrot's destiny. The He's diapers. in a better place now. And P.I. Papa, you would know that you do have essentially the quick return to town in that crystal. Oh, orb. that's right. Listen, so you didn't have to walk back at least. Flarp, you look a little uneasy with that thing. Why don't you hand it over to uh, to, to, to Ka here? There you go. I hold no, it very care of that. Be better about it than you were with carrots. You see one of Kai's like eyes flicker <laughs> with electricity because they cannot cry, but they would. <laughs> Is that motor oil leaking down your face? <laughs> It's just raining on my face. Let's go. I forgot I had my magic items. Fuck the entire combat session. Of course right. you did. Of course, of course I did. <laughs> I'm just looking at my inventory now. I'm going right. to start just I... keeping your sheet up next to mine. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, I could have been adding plus two AC the whole time. Fuck. Um, all right, what's the item I have that brings us back? It's like a, it's like a crystal, crystal or something. Ball. Yeah, it's crystal like ball. a crystal. It's like, yeah. I, I keep confusing it with a snow globe because it's similar. All right, yeah. So I use that, and what do, I just kind of, what do I do with it? Take a puff in my you plate. You spike the football. Do I just throw it on? Here we go. All right, here we go. Please do not throw it on the ground, sir. Thank you. Well, let's make sure. Then. Let's make sure we are all together and holding hands. Um, I, I, our our patron told us any creature, so let's make sure there is no wildlife in the area. Kai is so concerned about the wildlife of the area. Kai is afraid of squirrels. <laughs> Good to know. I see. Next time we're going to in and I shoot it. <laughs> Next time we're going to squirrel haunt woods. Um, no. <laughs> um, as you all group together and <laughs> essentially you focus on this crystal that looks like it has Shadowdale encased in it, uh, it it's almost like you lose your sense of vision for a second. You It's almost cloudy and then you see an aerial view of the region and then it seems as if you almost zoom in over the entire Dale lands themselves before you see an overview of Shadow Dale and then New Shadow Dale Town. And almost in a dropping sensation, you all appear in town at the position you were overlooking in a bird's eye view, and the crystal disintegrates in your hands. Ooh. As you are all back in New Shadow Dale Town, uh, able to see the tent where you all had left, you see carrots, uh, standing over the dead orc strumming violently in case anyone were to approach and as you all appear you see the same two humans that had just exchanged coins exchange coins back the other way but it seems like <laughs> a little bit more as he gets man i told you they was gonna make it they got that all natural look the other one looks at him kind of confused and goes all natural Chester, I ain't know you spoke Elvish, boy. <laughs> and then they kind of keep going on. That's so good. They waved you. We gonna be in the tavern, you know, in case y'all wanna, you know, give us a drink with y'all new adventure payroll. You know, won't be hard to find. I like food and drink. Is that, is that carrots? Is he not dead forever? Earth? And you see the note Earth. wave you over, Virgil Tempers. We go um, over. Could you um kind of uh illuminate this situation? Uh is he not to be helped? Kind of gesturing to the orc with the angry rabbit folk standing over. Oh yeah, no, he's a bad guy. Just go ahead and, you know, hang him up to dry and just then torture him for a bit and maybe make sure you cut off his fingers one by one. Well, I can do it. I can help. I'd be happy to. But he's got, I'm not a really bad guy. Really a bad. traditional really ceremonial things. orcish burial would have him buried with his weapon of choice, perhaps in the, in the field behind this area. He's got some weird stuff tripping from him. You might just want to bury him. I will have the town guard check this out, and I will leave it to them. Uh, I'm not really in body disposal, so I really, it's not my area of expertise. So, I'm gonna sprinkle a little holy water on the orc's body before we go. Which for okay. Kai is mechanical oil, but it has the same properties. Holy mechanical oil. <laughs> I have a dwarf, he blesses mead, so I mean, bless <laughs> to each their own. Um... And with that, Virgil will take out a sack of coin and look to you all. Um, you have the item, correct? Yes, I do. It... He will take the item from you and hand you all a small sack that clanks, jingles in your hand with your thousand gold pieces that you were offered. Was it was that each? I forget. Or is that total? Yep, it is it is each. As you all have this boost to your inventory. Nice. And you are able to help the town out. Uh Beautiful. right now you have plenty of people that are happy to finally like be off the clock. They're done working. They were waiting for you all to get back. So there's a sense of relief. And it seems like uh kinda when everyone's off from work, it seems like they're shifting to the tavern. So you guys are being invited to come along should you choose. But what are you guys gonna do with your money now that you have just been paid 
finally had a chance to make a little bit more of an adventuring name for yourself. People definitely know to call you if they need some people to brave some deep, dark areas that they're too afraid to go. What's next for you guys? Yeah, Papa's going to buy himself better, better private investigative building. Something a little more central. <coughs> people walk by it more often. Business will be a little better. Much appreciated. Maybe, uh... Hey, Carrots. That's what I was saying. You looking for a job? That's what I was I could use a co-investigator. How does... Papa and Carrots ink sound? Carrots walks over. Puts his hand on Papa's shoulder and says... Carrots... And Papa. <laughs> Damn it, carrots! You were always a tough nut to crack. And he gives you like the like the <sighs> very well, carrots and papa. It is smiles. Just the first thing in or out of his head that hasn't been said, like with any kind of accent. <laughs> Just yeah. the name of the business. I love it. <laughs> um, Kai will probably invest in uh, another diamond or two, and that's it. Kai just wants to be prepared to never fail anyone the way they failed carrots again today. Again. So. This was Kai's backstory, it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> Why they're such a devoted cleric in the future. <laughs> Tan's gonna start looking for a home that moves. Like a carriage or mobile home, just so there's less people trying to knock on her door in the future. Smart. Smart briefly considers therapy. <laughs> <laughs> but then decides he's still hungry and that's pretty much the same thing Almost so he's gonna cheaper. he's gonna go and get himself a long overdue breakfast and as soon as you walk in if you were to ask for breakfast in the tavern they don't care what time it is adventurers like you and the coin you bring the reputation that you bring when just by eating here they get to advertise it they'll make you pancakes they don't care what time it is pancakes omelets whatever you want it's adventure denny's <laughs> it's Lenny's. You've walked into Lenny's. Totally using that. Uh -huh. Ooh, they have little French toast things. Uh, whatever the equivalent of like French is for D and D. Yeah. <laughs> Elvish toast. Yeah. There you go. Um. um yeah, there'd be plenty of people buying you drinks. Chester um, and Jake would both be uh, trying to drink with you. Um, <laughs> but I think this is where we will end our session. Our heroes have recovered the item, helped the town, and are here in Shadowdale, New Shadowdale Town, having a great time. Very cool. Awesome what game. That, what, 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 was, what was the, the snow globe? globe? So the snow globe, if we're getting into a little bit of the lore behind it. Lore. Give us the lore. Hit me. So, we're all DMs. We want it. <laughs> did we just do something bad? That's what we're trying to figure out. Um, Behind the scenes, how you guys did it? Uh, no, it is going to be very much you are stopping a larger problem. Uh, the person that you are... Uh, working for it. They're essentially trying to keep things out of the wrong people's hands. And pretty much this snow globe uh, in a normal person's hands can kind of create the kind of barrier that it was locked behind with a password kind of thing. Uh, in a more arcane person's hands, that radius can get bigger. Um, and it could potentially be a problem, but it's just a small force field, essentially. Oh, it's so, what uh, so what you're saying is, in the hands of a user of magic, it can create an impenetrable force field. I'll send you the plot, the campaign that I that I'm uh, working with, and you can let me know how you like this. I'd love uh, to read that. Yeah. Does that mean we're not in it? I mean, you can be if you guys just kind of want to plan a campaign. Um, <laughs> But yeah, the idea is if people have a high enough, uh, like if the big baddies get this with their resources, they can turn it into something else. 
they oh, can use okay. this power. Uh, normal people's hands, small little force field. Wrong people's hands, the, they're trying to do something. I don't want to spoil it on stream, so as soon as we cut no, everybody else to be continued. Um, cool. Well, then we should I'll call give it you guys there. All the secrets after. But here, I was thinking it was just like a souvenir from like a gas station. And yeah, I was gonna be like, oh, <laughs> fucking snow globe. What is this? Like rosebud. It just says yeah. I heart Trenton. What the hell? <laughs> Waterdeep I, is for lovers. <laughs> <laughs> I heart flow hug. <laughs> Marcel, this is amazing. Thank you so much for running this. This is so, you, so much fun. Very well done. Glad you guys had fun. Um, like I said, there's more that I have kind of imagining around this plot coming. I'll give you guys the full sneak peek. Uh, yeah. In a sec, but yeah, everybody know. else, stay tuned. Stay tuned with uh, more of our content coming up. Sounds good. Well, hey, listen, we'd be honored if you guys would come back again tomorrow night for Songs of Creation. See you then. Um... It's like we always say here on Mates of Fate. That's all, folks. <laughs> That's it. That's, That's going to be the one. <laughs> <laughs>